Welcome to episode 440 of the Geeks for the Win podcast, the tech and gaming podcast from the geeksforthewin.com, where we cover all things geeky. I'm your host, William, and I'm joined by co-host Stuart. Known across the internet, Scott O'Clair. And we're recording on Christmas Eve. It's Woo. Christmas Eve. Yes. Happy holidays. I have literally done nothing Christmassy, like, <laughs> at all. Like, um... Yeah, I don't I don't do decorations that I so up. Uh, so the gr- the green and red lights behind me, that's about as Christmassy in this apartment as it gets. I guess the most Christmassy I've thing I've done. I can't remember your stance on this. Probably you don't like it. It seems like everyone I know or know doesn't like it, but I did get some eggnog. I love me some eggnog. I don't know if I've ever had. I I think I've had eggnog, but I'm not sure. It was a while ago. If I did, like it, I don't. I don't it, remember. It, it, it's like a milkshake. That's pretty much what it is. Like, it's very sweet, thick, like milky. I guess. I guess eggy. But I mean, I don't taste any egg. I just taste. It just tastes like a milkshake. Like. And it's not always al- alcoholic, correct? No, 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 okay. no. You can buy, like, you can go to the store and, like, uh, I, I don't know if y'all have, like, Highland Dairy milk, like, whatever random milk, like, your your location has. Like, they, they just have eggnog there. Or they have, like, they have Southern Comfort eggnog, but it's not alcoholic. It's just, you know that Southern comfort goes in eggnog. So they decided to make their own eggnog that people can buy to put Southern comfort in or, you know, to put, yeah. So, okay. You know, the, the, they decided, Oh, people put people, put, people put our, you know, our, our, our alcohol in eggnog. Why don't we make the eggnog? So we get, you know, sure. Two bites of the apple. Absolutely. Yeah, so I've seen they they have Southern Comfort eggnog and then cinnamon eggnog. I'm not I'm not a big like cinnamon guy, like just because like too much cinnamon tends to be like kind of spicy. I had a lot of cinnamon toast as a kid, like like just like like made like just like made toast, butter it, and poured a bunch of cinnamon on it. Cinnamon or cinnamon sugar? Cinnamon. Okay. Yeah, I don't like the. I guess I I don't like the cinnamon taste. Like 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 um, like was it uh big red gum or whatever? You know, like that. The, like, yeah, that's that's just that's just hot. That, that yeah, I don't like hot cinnamon. That's just yeah. hot. But like, you know, I I I I do like good cinnamon toast. You know, and stuff like that. Of course, best cereal ever, cinnamon toast crunch. And I'm more of a Fruit Loops guy or Apple Jacks. Mm, I like me some Apple Jacks. Yeah, which <laughs> tangent? Um, I they have cinnamon toast crunch like seasoning, which it's like that's just cinnamon sugar. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, they've got that, and then they sell. I saw in stores they sell the the Lucky Charms marshmallows just by themselves now. Oh like, well, yes, they've they've done that for a while. Yeah. I just, I was, you know, it was just like, oh my god, like, <laughs> okay, sure, you know, whatever, you know, it's just getting to a point where food. Just, we've been talking about the way food, like, food just gets crazy, like the, the cookie industry. Cookies, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. How, how many times have we gone on the cookie industry? Like, yes, there, there are many, many times uh, in the past years that w- one of us will just send a picture of just. Weird co- cookies we find. <laughs> like, oh, look, here's like, like, here's a cookie that tastes like a root beer float. And it does. And it it's amazing. 
I, I, I've, I've tweeted Chips Ahoy and asked them to please bring that one back, but <laughs> sadly, no. Or, you know, here's a cookie where they st- stuff a brownie inside of it. Yeah. Yep, you know, I'm... just like crazy stuff. We were talking, talk, kind of talking about TikTok before the show. I do come across this TikToker who's like, here's the crazy foods coming to stores this month or next month or, you know, and he'll like talk about, oh, there's the, uh, these flavors of Takis or there's these, you know, new sim- toast crunch yogurt or what, you know, I don't know. Just I'm just making stuff up. But yeah, like just these random stuff. And I'm just like. It's the same vein of what we used to do. Like, you know, we'd send each other the cookie photos or cereal. Cereal's another thing. Like Cereal can get really weird. Like, they, they've got, was it Cosmic Brownie? Little Debbie Cosmic Brownie cereal now? Okay, one, I'm not a huge fan of the co- co- Cosmic Brownie anyway. But that just sounds gross. They've got oatmeal cream pie cereal. Um, of that, and, and of course, the most disgusting sounding one of all. Um, uh, what's it called? Oh. Uh, 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 Sour Patch Kids cereal. Gross. Nope. Sorry. No. That that's a that's a thing. Um, <laughs> I do know that there is, um, like those Christmas tree uh snacks. That they have, there is ice ice cream of that. Oh yeah, that was a thing. People I, on my I've definitely seen. Yeah, the and the Christmas tree cakes. Yes, and like it's like being sold out like everywhere. Yeah, I, I did see that was a thing. I would I would around. love to try it because that sound it does yeah. sound good. It does yeah. sound good. It's like it's just, it's like the I, I shared a TikTok about this one guy who just like reacts to all these amazing food things, and it's like this is why I can never be skinny. <laughs> exactly it's right. Like, there's too much good food out there. But anyways, we're not here to talk about food. We're here to talk about what we've been watching, whether it's movies, TV, or I don't know, web series, anything, but just what we've been watching. Okay, that 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 expands that. Um, I mean, we've always, I mean, been true. able to. Yeah. What have you been up to? Or what have you been watching, Stuart? Uh, well, I watched not a whole lot of new things. Put it that way, not a whole lot of new things. Um, well, one 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 of the new things I did watch was banished from the hero's party. So I decided to live a quiet life in the countryside. I've been watching this. You have, you've also watched it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like it. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not your typical kind of like, like, cause like the main, the main character is the hero's brother. Like she was born with the trait of of the hero, and is going to uh, defeat the demon lord. You know, big that that trope. She's a little insane. Well, it's the world of the traits, though. That's kind of like it, it, it's interesting how they introduce the traits and how like, yeah, because because like everybody everybody has a trait or a um, what are they what are the what are the what do they call it. Oh, um, blessing! Blessing, yes, yeah. It's, yeah. It, it's a blessing from from uh, the Almighty. Um, and the main character is, has the blessing of the guide, so he can like he can never get lost, uh, in like a, a forest. Um, and I'll see that. There's much more to it. Um. He ha- he has like, uh, he has like enhanced survival skills, like he can, um. But I don't know if he learned that or not, because like he is also 
like leveled up his common skills too. Like he's a, a really good fighter. He was he was a knight. You know, he he trained to be a knight so he could, you know, when his sister got older, he he would go he could go with with her. He overcome adversity. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah. Um and he just he became like really good at just common skills. And the dick with the blessing of the sage, you know, I, I think he, he was just fucking jealous. Um, just like you are a hindrance to the party. You're not as you're not as well in co- combat. We don't need you. You are a hindrance to, to us. And so the main character was like, all right, yeah, you're right. Peace and left. And the party realized like, oh, those common skills that we don't have because we just focus on our combat shit. Um, we can't do anything without him. And that, and, and, and I, I, I hate that that dude's like, I don't know why he left. Mystery to me. That's that's why well, like, he's a know, fucking just dick. Like, that's why that's why he's yeah, a fucking dick. I, <laughs> yep. Uh, but like the blessings are like they kind of take over. They can kind of take over your personality. They've shown with uh, the the children. Yeah, like with when the, with the kids. Yeah, when they start to get it. Yeah, yeah. You can so. become kind of like an an urge for them. But like what I really liked was the the one kid who had uh, the sword mastery or not no weapon ma- weapon not sword mastery. What weapon mastery? You know, um, the main character was like, yeah, you could. You could learn, you could master the knife and then you could work with your dad at down at, you know, at the docks or whatever. And you'd be really good at, you know, cutting, cutting ropes and, you know, like you using that skill, not for fighting, but for just actually help helping you in actual life. Yeah. But he's got the like weapon mastery holes. blessing. So it's just like, okay, cool. I like that. Um, so like just because you have this blessing doesn't mean it has to be the thing it's called or it, you know, be used in the way you would automatically think. Yeah. My favorite thing about this show is they handle, they're handling romantic relationship really well. <laughs> yeah. Like I like it too. Cause like, it's not, I am so shocked. It's like, not a will they won't, won't they kind of a thing because it's the way Will they? Yes, they will. And they went with it. It was and no pervy. Oh, I tripped, fell in your cleavage yes. or like, yes, you know, like like the, the female is a bit of a tease for me a little bit. But like, that's about it. You know, it's very mellow, like and respectable. And I really I really like it because that's one of the biggest like the will they won't they will they won't they you know and yeah you it, never see it yeah gets, it's just frustrating it gets annoying and just like one episode like oh yeah have you never dated before no me i mean either yeah this is my first time like oh oh so they're just like officially just like it's not a like they're just living together kind of a nope they are together like okay yeah and it's like oh oh they actually kissed okay yeah There's, it's like some animes you'll never see the two romantic in- love interests ever kiss yeah like like oh they're actually in a respectable like caring nurturing relationship okay this is great like, yeah fantastic like it it avoids so many of the anime tropes and i really like it yes i i agree with you there uh that's, that's also why i really like it because it's not something that we've seen you know 500 times have you watched it all or uh yes, I've I've gone into sub. Okay, I've not. I think I can't remember what it, the, the what the last dub is, but the 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 the, the last episode uh, that's dubbed out now is like she she the hero comes and sees oh brother and then it ends there. Okay, yeah. Um. Which that's one where I was like, oh, are they not going to is she not going to end up seeing her brother? Are they going to like n- never, you know, because that happens a lot in anime where like, oh, the main characters, ne- or, you know, like 
oh, they're in a town, but they won't see each other. You're kind of like uh, how what's it called? Um, we we talked about this before the oh, the um, jobless, jobless reincarnate. Yeah. Like, yeah, where it's like, oh, it's frustrating, but no, they actually ended up like, yeah, you know, that episode, and I'm uh, like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the 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 hero blessing, like that's that's more of a curse. Like honestly, it really is. That's more of a curse. Uh, I mean, it, there are some I, definite down downsides to that blessing. Um, like it seems like all the blessings are kind can kind of be considered a curse if you like, it, depending on the situations. Like, yeah, depending on the situations. But like the hero one, like you are incredibly strong. You're impervious to, um any kind of poisons or anything like that. Um, but you, you lose your emotions, but yes. I don't, but that, but she still has emotions though. Like she I, gets excited like to see her brother. I feel like it's more, well, there's a reason for that. Um, I feel like it's more like a, like, like a sociopathic issue. Like she knows what emotions are. She knows uh, how people express yeah. them, but doesn't really feel them herself. And know and knows that she should. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but there is a a drug, um, that actually makes your blessing weaker. So it's and, easier for you to level up. Yes. Yeah. Um, and the hero took that drug, so like that, that's what shows she's actually starting to show some kind of emotion. Oh, she she took it. I don't. I didn't think she she had gotten her hands on it yet. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah. Um. The guy, the the guys from the 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 demon that was in that that guess, village gave. gave I guess her it'll some. be revealed. Yeah, because she broke out the one dude, and then I, I guess technically I they feel hadn't. like it, it was it was shown before that. But no, yeah, she 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 took it. Okay. Yeah, because she broke. She in the in the, the latest episode I saw, she broke out the one dude. Yeah, the one who, the one who can who can make it. Who can make it? And then that's the same episode where you know she ends up seeing her brother, and so maybe yeah, maybe he made some for her, and she took it, but they just didn't show it, you know. And that'll be a reveal next episode or something. I don't know, but sorry, yeah, I'm enjoying this sorry, I, anime I thought, a lot. I, I, oh no, no! I thought it, it 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 was shown that she took it. That's not a. That's not like a bad, a big spoiler. I'm okay. No, with that. but yeah, but like she she's now starting to show emotion. She she wants to get rid of the blessing because she knows it's, you know, she doesn't want to do it anymore. Mm. Makes sense, yeah. But yeah, I I just I, it's such a refreshing anime. Like yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. I hope we see more that are like this, you know? Uh, so what else have you been, been watching? Uh, let's look at my list. Um, I've been watching a little, little documentary, Ooh. um, documentary I'm, series. I, I'm usually one with it, with, with doc documentaries. Yeah. Um, this is this one is actually free to watch. You can watch it on YouTube, uh, Microsoft. You download it from Microsoft, uh, variety of places. But it's called Power On: The Story of Xbox. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, because this is you know the Xbox twentieth anniversary twentieth anniversary of Xbox. Yeah. Um, I start. There's six episodes. I've watched five of them. Um, so I still got the sixth one to watch. Um, and it go it it. It's funny because I'm I as I'm watching this, I'm like, oh, the narrator. She kind of sounds like Laura Bailey a bit, but the but but there's a bit difference to it. And then I end up seeing at the end narrated by Laura Bailey, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because it's she, she's she's doing a narration voice, so it's not sure you know, it sounds like her, but a little bit different from what I'm used to hearing. So it was one of those things. And I was like, oh, it is done by her. OK, interesting. Um, 
But yeah, you can watch this on like Xbox's YouTube channel, like for free, download it on, you know, Microsoft's store through Xbox for free. It's on like I think IMDb TV, like a few other places out there, but like yeah. Okay, so yeah. It's it's, it's Oh, interesting. Um, I, chapter 5, The Red Ring of Death. Cool. They actually refer, yeah, I was kind of that's kind of shocked cuz like I don't know if Microsoft has ever like actually said red ring of death i mean ever they sell a poster like microsoft I mean, now, sells, yeah, sells a like poster they, for, the, like, for the red now, ring of death n- now they do yes but i mean like up until before like this time i don't think they've ever like actually said like referred to it but um it goes through like you know oh the 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 concept of like the Xbox, uh, like the first episode, it talks about how like, oh, there's a team of, uh, of, you know, cause the, uh, Microsoft did some, a few computer games. Like they did like, um, uh, age of empires mm-hmm. and like, I think flight simulator and a couple mm-hmm. other smaller games and stuff like that. And they had a team who did, who did, uh, who, who, who did direct X. Right. And, it was that team who decided like to kind of thought about, Oh, maybe there should be a, you know, a, a console. Like maybe we should make a th- console. Cause Sony is trying to like, tr- trying to kind of take over. Like they, they made a point to show like Sony's trying to make it. Cause at the, at that time, Sony was making everything like, you know, in the uh, the PlayStation Two, they were trying to like, they were trying to say, oh, you you can have a PlayStation Two as you know, it can be your CD player, your DVD, you know, it can be, it can do all these multiple things that a computer would do, and you know, they kind of thought that maybe, you know, maybe the PlayStation could actually compete against Microsoft as you know, in the computer market, you know. They were kind of worried about that, and well, they um, they approached just, Sony though, right? Uh, they I don't think they approached like, Sony. They I, I've, approached... I've, I've definitely heard heard the the story of of how Xbox came to good before. I think they approached Sony, and Sony said no. They no, they approached Nintendo. Oh, they approached Nintendo. They were, tr- they were okay. trying to buy Nintendo. That's it. Well, yeah. Okay, I don't know if I heard buy, but um, yeah, well, no, they, they were because the, when they decided they were gonna make an Xbox, they were like, we have no idea what hardware, how to do hardware, because we've never done that before. Let's try to buy Nintendo because we'll have instant, you know, cred, you know. Man, can you imagine? We, yeah, right. Can like, you imagine if Nintendo or if my Microsoft bought Nintendo? Yeah, like that would Ugh. just be I don't know. That'd be crazy. I I actually I can't imagine it. Like I I honestly don't know how that would have went. Like but yeah, they, they they tried to buy Nintendo and then Nintendo basically said no and then they were like, "Oh, okay." And then they were trying to make their own and it talks about like step by step like, you know, from like, you know, the idea of it to trying to pitch it, the idea to uh, Bill Gates mm-hmm. and Steve Ballmer, and the fa- and the fact that oh the the uh, oh, what's it called the there was a term um, Bill there was we another will, we team. will make a game called Fusion Frenzy do it I love it. There was another team that uh, uh, tried to um, what's it called? Um, that was focused on like porting Windows to like mobile devices and pocket computers and stuff at the time, and it in, they ended up uh, kind of. There was a point where like Bill Gates was like, okay. You, you, the DirectX team wants to do something, and then this department wants to do something. Okay present me your 
you know, like fight, 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 you know, type thing. Like whoever I'm, I'm very, I does, was, I want to watch this like right now. Like I, I'm, it's so good. I'm, I don't want to really say too much. It. Yeah. I don't want to say too much, but it goes through like the early stages of that to like trying to figure out, um, what's it called? Like how to like get a prototype Xbox to show off at GDC because they wanted to because the whole point of them making the Xbox was to, to you know, to have a console where it's similar to developing like on computer because that was easier to do than the hassle of developing on like the PlayStation, for instance. So they were trying their, their whole their whole original concept of it was to try to, you know, grab the game developers and give them something easier for them to develop on and to grab them and get their support early on. Um, I'm very curious on chapter six TV or not I have, TV. Cause, <laughs> Oh, they tease that at the end of five. Yeah. Uh, it's like, mm, um, what will they say about, about that? It's it's so interesting because like some things I know and then, so, you know, then you start to get like real in depth details on on things like, you know, like how like the you, you hear about the like how they were all pitching it to Steve Ballmer and um, Bill Gates and the one of their uh, what was it? They uh, one of their meetings to pr- presentations to Bill Gates is was referred to as the Valentine's Day Massacre, which is like the chapter two yeah which is the second part of it where he just gets like so upset because of something and it's just oh my god it's so fascinating and then he goes to you know the 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 when they first showed it off at was it gdc the their xbox um i think it was gdc um they go oh and you press the power and it turns on and it didn't turn on yeah and how that was such an uphill battle, like, you know, like you're to, they're trying to, like, show this off and get the, the devs to, you know, be on their side. And then they show a box that, you know, a box that they like. Like they took a piece of chrome and they like they they, they somehow made it into the shape of an X and then they just like they shoved a motherboard into it and they had to like, they had to, they had to, cut, they had to trim it. down, they had to trim down the motherboard so it would fit. Like they had to actually, and it's just like crazy. Like how crazy. Cause like the whole process, the whole initial thought of this started in like, I think 99 and then they released it in 2001. And there's a point in the video where they're like, most console manufacturers start developing their next console as soon as the current one or current one, you know, launches. So they have at least a good five, six, seven years in Xbox, you know, from concept to product was like two years, you know? Yeah. Two. I've, I've definitely seen this before. And then it talks about like the launch of the Xbox and it's like, oh yeah, the rock was there. I forgot about that. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was the thing. Um, and it, it, cause I remember the Xbox launch and I was definitely one of those like naysayers, you know, like, ugh, you know, Microsoft making a console and yeah, this thing, all right this, here. And- I, I remember seeing this. And it's funny hearing them talk about, oh, yeah, you know, we 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 did focus groups and the and whenever we, you know, we decided not to go with Microsoft Xbox because the people would, you know. Have a negative, you know, thought towards Microsoft making a console and, you know, this and that and oh, how the window, how the Microsoft Office team wanted to wanted to get you know wanted uh office on the xbox because they thought they thought people would want to edit word documents in their living room and just like i mean just yes 
but not like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just oh, it's, there's so much fascinating stuff behind this and it goes through the different like you know oh the red ring of death and you know all this and that and you know we've heard a lot of stories of you know like oh did they went to steve Ballmer and he said how much is it gonna cost they said a billion and he's like fine just do it you know we need to get in but th then they talk about like the nitty-gritty like what all like happened like you know they had to stop production until they decided to until they figured out how it actually like what actually caused the red ring of death and they had like 600 like i think they said either six or seven hundred thousand like broken xboxes just piled up i think at one, one time and 200,000 of the one billion was just for shipping like shipping the xboxes back to people like and if you like documentaries oh yeah i was there <laughs> a couple times um and they have people like uh they they, they have people like kevin Pereira, like okay cool. they, they talk to him and they get his like insights on stuff as well as you know like other other figures they they have like bonnie bonnie ross you know because she mm -hmm. was there back back in the day and you know she's a big part of it now and you know uh phil spencer he's one of the people who chimes in every now you know stuff like that so like the, there's people you'll recognize like cool it's such I a good documentary i will definitely watch people this like us i yeah, will definitely watch this yeah this is one i i i had on my list for a while and then it was like oh we're filming or, or we're recording tomorrow and i was like oh i'm gonna like watch or watch slash listen to these while i'm on the bus tomorrow and all the you know and i've watched all five episodes today like <laughs> it's Someone, one of those things somebody has has put together like all of it in in one video it's four four hours long yeah yeah they're like 40 something minutes each six episodes yeah so about four hours long uh, it's, and like it's, it, four four hours and 50 minutes like it is four hours long yeah it's it's i you know I'm before sorry. i even watch this four hours 50 seconds yeah first watch this on youtube i got bought this or you know bought in quotes it's free but on microsoft store and all that you know because i wasn't sure if it was going to be one of those things where like later on it becomes you paid for mm. but it's free now because of the anniversary but like yeah if you got an xbox you can like and you you, you can watch this in hd they have it in 4k ultra hd like yeah they it's really well done too like i will definitely wa watch this yeah this is one i was like if you're not if you if you haven't watched this already you're de Stuart's definitely gonna watch this because yeah it's just like right up, right up our alley. Absolutely. Like, this is the type of documentary I just, I just get into and love. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, they talk about the, they, 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 they talked about the, or they interviewed the guy who like got the first Xbox <laughs> at launch. Really? Okay. And how he was playing, he was playing next to Bill Gates, like before the launch, actually, or before the actual like midnight, you know, like the actual Xboxes were going out. And he was like, yeah, Bill Gates told me he took two weeks off to practice playing this game <laughs> <laughs> in order to, but I still beat him. And, you know, then Bill Gates handed him the Xbox and said, don't worry, I'm paying for it. And <laughs> I think I remember seeing that video. Because there, yeah. there, there, there's a video of, of him taking that, taking that. Yeah, I've, I've seen that, that, that video. It's, it's, it's really good. It's really well done for the, you know, for the 20th anniversary of Xbox, which it's crazy to think 20 years of Xbox. That's. Hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. And that's like, damn. Yeah. That's the first, like, yeah, that's for, like I said, I remember like the Xbox being announced and coming out and scoffing because, oh, it's Windows making, you know, because I was a PlayStation guy. I love my PlayStation 2. <laughs>
I, I, I first heard and saw the Xbox at or at a friend's house, and we played Halo, and it was really cool. I really liked it. That was really cool. There's a big, big section on Halo and Bungie and all that in this too, as there should, should be because Halo made the Xbox. Oh yeah, like definitely. That's, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's there's just so much interesting details that I'm just like, oh, I want to share, but I don't want to. I, I I want you to watch it. And yeah, I, I hear hear that. your thoughts on it. So. Yeah, that's power on the X, the story of Xbox. Um, like I said, it's available like you on Xbox's YouTube. Mm -hmm. You can get yeah, it on. Where I'm looking at that through the Xbox console. You can download it through there. You can watch it on a variety of different places. I think. Uh, I think there's a Xbox has a site where they're like, here's all the places you can. Uh, watch it. Uh, think, yeah. IMDb TV, Microsoft, Redbox. They're like dig right. digital thing. Okay. Roku, Roku channel, YouTube. So, yeah, it's it it's available like free. All the free places, all the main free places. Yeah. So. Uh, what's another thing you got? Uh, well, okay. Uh, one, I got one more anime thing, and this is not a new anime. This is an anime I've already seen, and I'm watching it again because I've not watched a lot of the new stuff that's come out uh, for it. That's I'm rewatching Attack on Titan. Oh, okay. Um, because my sister. Jillian wants to get into anime, but she doesn't. But like a lot of the animes that I like, that's not the kind of stuff she's in, she's into. So I really, I really don't have a lot of suggestions for her. Like she likes my my hero, um, but like she's not into magic, and she's not into like gore and stuff. So I'm like. Um, that severely drops my, of my list of things to, uh, recommend. But she likes slice of life type animes. Uh, well, I, I told her to watch, uh, the disastrous life of, of Psy Psyche K. Cause while it, there is like magic ish stuff in it, it's, it's still pretty, pretty funny. I think she, she might enjoy it. Um, she's like yeah it's funny um i was like oh i'm and i'm thinking like well we'll talk about food wars recently so i suggested food wars to her <laughs> yeah you told me about that <laughs> she's like i feel uncomfortable watching this one i'm like well i said it was interesting she said i it it just seems inappropriate um and she has watched a good chunk of full full metal uh, but just really just it didn't fully grab her, but she she did watch a lot of it. Um and she she's also look at looked at lists, and like on everybody's list is Attack on Titan. And she watched the first episode and was immediately oh. turned off because oh. she doesn't want gore. She doesn't want scary. I'm like, that's what that anime is, though. It's very gory. It's very it. It's very creepy. She's like, but yeah, the, the way the Titans look, it just it's so disturbing. Like, oh, it's yes, but they're supposed to be that a lot of body horror stuff. Yes, there's a lot of that. It's kind of a thing I can't really get behind too much. <laughs> kind of um, messes with me, but yeah, I can't I can't watch that live action, but I'm okay watching that in anime. Because it's a cartoon, I, I I I get I'm 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 I can get get past it that way. Um, but for our for my dad's side of the family for our uh, Christmas, yeah, we were just kind of laying about, not really doing anything, and she's she's watching something on her phone. I just kind of walk over and look at it, 
she's watching Attack on Titan. She's given another shot. So I I took the other earbud and we can just, just kind of watching on the phone. We watched maybe about four episodes of uh, the like early stuff. Um. Um. So I'm like, okay, and they kind of it got back back into like, okay, I want to watch some of the newer stuff. I've not watched all of it yet. I've seen some of episode of season three. Um but not all of it. So I'm getting, I'm watching the older stuff and then I'm going to watch a lot of the, the, the newer stuff. Um, but yeah, I've been watching, we're watching it at attack on Titan. And I, I think this is actually the first time I've rewatched it. Um, so like knowing what I know now, there are certain characters I'm just watching. Like I know you, what do you, I can just I'm keep my eyes on you. I know yeah, what you do later. Nice. I know what you are. <laughs> and... I might suggest fruits basket. C- kind of a little magic in there, but not yeah. too much. I, my, it's an overall like my other mellow. sister Allie really liked fruit fr- fruit basket. That actually like uh. this this was this was years ago. Oh yeah. Before before, before the like the remake. N- before the before the, the, the remake remake. Yeah. I love Fruits Basket. Yeah, the original. So good. Another Laura Bailey. Um <laughs> Oh really? Yeah. Okay. She's the voice of the main Okay. The main character. <laughs> and it, it it's funny. She my Jill even turned to me and she's like, I'm starting to re- to recognize voices now. I'm like, yeah, he will. Oh yeah. And it just mm-hmm. so happens that one of the voices of the, I don't know if you remember the 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 general who was who just had the it and a, just like a permanent just horrified look on his face, and like initially like shot like a cannonball at at Aaron and his friends, and like Aaron caught it uh, in, in like partial t- Titan form. Well, that oh, yeah. that was uh, Christopher Sabat. Uh, yeah, he's in everything. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, you recognize that voice? Give you a hint. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> I just um, all might. Yeah, I just, just all might. So I'll give you a hint. Yeah, all might Piccolo. Um, for she, she, she won't know. She like, won't. Yeah, <laughs> like the list could go on and just look at his IMDb and Ultra. you're like, just like, oh okay, yeah, yeah, I hear it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's a good thing yeah, about you. Will, you will though. definitely start, start hear, hearing everything. voices that you, you recognize. Yeah. Yeah, that's the good thing about anime. There's like genres for everything. Yeah. And I, I, I know there's, there's something out there, but she just, just we haven't found her genre yet. Yeah. And you know, I like all, I like a lot of the different genres for different, re- like, I do like a good slice of life whenever I'm like, don't feel like watching something that's going to be like emotional like, or not, not, not emotional, but like something that's going to be intense, you know, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. like yeah. something intense that's going to like really get me, you know, in a, in a, in a feeling like a, you know, I don't feel like watching black Clover right now. Cause there's going to be some real intense stuff going on. So, you know, let's watch this, this, this anime about a game studio, you know? Yeah. I typically, I, I've definitely seen a, a good number slice of life stuff. But that's not, it's not something I typically watch though. Or an anime about an anime studio. <laughs> yes, there's also that too. Uh, I've watched both of those types and I enjoyed both of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's funny though. Attack on Titan. If you don't like, if you don't like gore or action, like. but like she's like, but it's on the top of everybody's list, though. I'm like, yeah, it kind of is. I mean, most of the on the top of like most of the top animes are action and mm-hmm. animes. For if really, you know, yeah, and, and like the the one I I actually I I don't recommend for her is like Dragon Ball. 
Like I don't, I don't. She would not. She would not like it. Yeah, that's a hard one for new people like now to get into. I, I think like, like now, like I don't think. Yeah, like drag, dra- Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Like that's not an anime for people just now getting into anime. Yeah, you should. Uh, you should uh, see if she, what she thinks of Demon Slayer. That's I have. I, I I I have told her like that one is very good it's very pretty it's so pretty oh my god yeah that's one that just like you know people it will just amaze you like on how gorgeous it looks Mm -hmm. the water the water motion move you know moves and the like oh it's it's so good i need to go back and finish that it's it's on my it's my I want shameful. I want to rewatch like, season one so I can watch season two because yeah, I've not seen any of season two. Yeah, and haven't finished season one or the movie. Although, well, uh, I'm I'm looking to see like, is it past the movie part yet? Because they're retelling the the the, the movie in the anime. The super model, yeah, yeah. Um, well, the dub is actually just past it. Like from, from what I've heard, it's the first seven, uh, seven episodes is the movie. Oh, okay. Cool. And ep- episode seven yeah. is, is out. This is subtitled. So. I didn't need that. I need to go back and finish Yashihime. Oh, well actually. <laughs> okay. Okay. Verve. You, they, they've broken that out into different arcs it's not like season one season two it's season one train arc season two or uh season two train arc season two entertainment dis- district arc yeah okay so i guess i guess that's to get around the the train the movie part Okay. Oh, but okay. Verve Verve has the dub of the movie. I didn't know that. Yeah, since like Sony owns Verve or Crunchyroll and Funimation, like as soon as that went live, I think that's when, like, the the dub version of the movie is everywhere. <laughs> like, basically. Movies, um, movies, they typically they don't stream. Like that's the other thing. Like the anime movies don't typically don't stream unless it's like on like Google Play. Yeah, that's yeah. Or YouTube, and you have to rent it or buy it. Yeah, another one I might recommend um, that I'm loving. I'm in love with right now. Restaurant to Another World, like. It is so good. Mm. I've talked about it before. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you know, it's it there is kind of magical cuz it's a ma- you know, magical door appears in another world and it leads to this restaurant in our world and it shows like it's a story of like how the characters found the door or whatever and then they discover it and then they they try some dish and that becomes like their favorite dish of all time. You know, whether it's like you know, chicken curry or pork mincemeat cutlet or you know hamburger steak or you know uh ice cream floats like and all the patrons refer to each other as their favorite dish you know they they you know oh hey por- pork mincemeat cutlet you know or hey chicken curry like yeah you know, it's 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 kind of a slice of life and it's also like a good one if you like food you know <laughs> and it doesn't have but any not, of the pervy but not, stuff but not like, weird like like food wars yeah yeah not that no yeah but yeah it's it's it, i'm loving it just because like you know i'm into cooking and i love the food and oh it, the chef is i think the chef is voiced by uh chris sabat actually okay <laughs> um funny enough 
Um, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm like 98% sure. So that's, that's another kind of slice of life ish one. That's, you know, it's kind of like an anthology in, in a way, you know, because it, it, each episode covers like two different dishes and the people around those dishes. Um, and that's on season two right now. And I'm watching that, you know, episode, I'm watching that week to week. So what else have you been watching? Okay. Something. Um, I just, I was just like, okay, let's turn on Disney plus and see maybe something new has come out. Something. I don't know. I'm just bored and wanting to watch something. And I'm like, what is this live in front of a studio audience? Facts of life slash different strokes. Um, I kind of vaguely remember this being a thing. Um, they did like, I, I remember they did an all in the family and Jefferson's version of this. But what this is, is they take like an episode of the facts of life and they have like full grown actors, actors played out. Like, uh, you're familiar with Facts of Life, right? Mm-hmm. Like, they have Jennifer Aniston play Blair. They have Catherine Hahn play Joe. They have, like, uh, was it, uh, let's pull the cast up of this, because they have, like, they have a lot of, like, big time um people in this um okay and they actually had like some of the actual oh, i see uh, main... kevin hart yeah he played he was in the different strokes he played arnold which is kind of a bit on the nose but it works like just because kevin hart's personality um uh, they have John. They had John Stewart in the F- Facts of Life one. Uh, the Will Arnett, Jason Bateman. Um, what was it in the uh, Different Strokes one? Yeah, they had uh, Kevin Hart. They had John Lithgow as Mr. Drummond. Damon Wayans as Willis. <laughs> there's a there's a picture that I just found. Of Kevin Hart sitting on John Lithgow's lap. And Kevin yeah, Hart that was pouting. so good. <laughs> it was so good. When that happened, I was just like, oh my God, this is amazing. And like, that's the image I'm going to be using. Like, the, this sounds silly, but it was, it's actually was pretty entertaining. Like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Snoop Dogg is, is plays one of Willis's friends, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Um, the 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 one of the the craziest thing was they had like they were when they were doing the 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 song the theme song they ended up going to like the actress who played Blair originally like she showed up. And was singing like the later half of the the Facts of Life theme song. She looks amazing for like fifty something. Like, <laughs> like um, her and the 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 like they all kind of look uh, interesting for or, or pretty good for their age. Like, there's a picture like. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like 50 something, like upper fifties. I, nope. I think I saw. Nope. I don't, yeah. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah. She looks like a, yeah, like definitely not her and, uh, uh, the, the, the girl who played Tootie. 
Oh yeah, uh huh. Um, but, but yeah, they like it, it was amazing. Like Catherine Hahn, like was amazing as Joe. Like just fantastic. Um, and for people who don't know, Catherine Hahn, she's uh, Agatha from WandaVision. Right. Um, just uh, like amazing. Jennifer Aniston was great at like. It's just, it's just something that I'm just like, what even is this? Like, I I want more of this. I want to see more actors like recreate old sitcom episodes of TV shows, you know, <laughs> like, I, want, like. I want them to go back farther and do like the stuff that I used to watch on like Nick, Nick at night. Like, uh, like an episode of like, um, Dick Van Dyke Show, or I Dream of Genie, Bewitched. Yeah. I mean, the Facts of Life and Different Strokes were on Nick and Knight, All in the Family. All in the Family. The, the other episodes weren't. The only episode that's on, um, what's it called, Disney Plus, that I could find that was just this one that was Facts of Life slash Different Strokes. Oh, there, strokes. there are more, more episodes. It's called Live in Front of a Studio Audience. Yeah, yeah. And I think they've got like, uh, podcast. <laughs> I just look at the w- Wikipedia. The executive producers: Will Ferrell, Jimmy Kim, Jimmy Kimball. It doesn't really show on IMDb, but I want to say. I could be mistaken, but was no, Jamie Fox on the Jeffersons one? It was the someone in the Jeff. There was someone like, like there's famous people in these. Like I like I, I mentioned, like you know Jennifer Aniston, Catherine Hahn, John Lithgow, Kevin Hart, Damon Wayans, Will Arnett, Jason Bateman. Like like these are not like oh, small time. Ta- like that's the original. These are like people you wouldn't expect to do something like this, you know, like. I think Jennifer Anderson's the one I'm like shocked the most to see do something like this. Um, Oh, here we go. Woody Harrelson was Archie Bunker. Marissa Tomei as Edith Bunker. Oh my god, I've got to find this. <laughs> Wait, no, I've got to watch that one. Oh my god, does she do the voice? Does she try to do the voice? I got to know. Well, the the whoever the the one they got, uh, what's her name? Ann Dowd. Who, they got her to play Mrs. Garrett, and she did the voice. <laughs> she like totally was Mrs. Garrett when in both in both the in both the. Episodes, in both the Cause she was in facts, life and different strokes. So yeah, Jamie Foxx was George Jefferson. Wanda Sykes was Mrs. Jefferson. Um, uh, they did one of good times and yeah, the, the, looks like there's only like maybe th- looks like they only recreated f- six episodes yeah i i i looked on on yeah uh wiki and it only listed six or um uh for six uh different shows which is is just like i want more of this this is so and it was hosted by uh jimmy kimmel and uh of course um oh I forgot uh it was uh Martin Short like sang part of the Facts of Life song too. That was kind of weird. That's definitely a voice you recognize instantly. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um and then they had they had two members of Boys to Men 
come out to do the different strokes song. Which is kind of weird. I don't think uh, it, it, they were definitely on Hulu, on Hulu, but they're not on Hulu now. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping that like, because like this was like a new th- like this past week, I think that this one episode, I'm hoping like maybe next week, Disney Plus will will release another one or, you know, type of thing. Because it looked like looks like uh, one of them at least came out in the beginning of November. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah. It's hard to tell like which like the dates. Yeah. It's just a fun like it's it, like watching those watching those two episodes be recreated. It was just fun because like I grew up watching, you know, the old sitcoms, you know, because I would oh, watch like no. Nick at Night and stuff like that. The All in the Family episode came out on December eighteenth, two thousand nineteen. Yeah, I, I know it start. Well, I know it started in two thousand nineteen, and then. Yeah, in this May. 2019 to present. Yeah. In May of 2019, which is, that's an odd time. Yeah. It was right before, like, so. Things were still normal. <laughs> so before, it was before the world we know it today. Um Right. But yeah, it's just if it was just it was just a fun thing. And you could tell like you could tell the actors were having fun recreating the roles and and doing it. So it was just an enjoyable thing. And like I said, I just ha- I just t- put on Disney Plus and it was just there. And I was just like, well, what is this? <laughs> you know, and I slowly was I looked at it and I'm like, wait, Jennifer Aniston, Catherine Hahn, Jason Bateman, Will Art, like what? John Lithgow, Kevin, Hart, like, okay, this is something. Yeah, it, it really sucks that you cannot find the first two two specials. Like, they're not streaming yeah. anywhere. Like I said, hopefully, maybe it's just a weekly thing. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully it comes to Disney Plus, too. Because the you know it was definitely an enjoyable thing. Like I would definitely, I would definitely recommend checking out. And it was like shot live, so there was there was a couple like slip ups here and there. But you you know just to you could tell it was live and it wasn't like, you know, because was it that was a trend, right? They were they, they there was like a lot of like oh hairspray live or grease live or like the, the like networks were doing stuff like that. I I I feel like a, a few years ago. I think you're right. I I saw that was that that was a thing that was happening a lot. Um, so yeah, I I remember hearing about this, but I yeah I never saw it until. It was Maybe I the, did hear one episode. Heard about it and forgot. That's possible. Yeah, but I want to see that all in the family. Woody Harrelson and Marissa Tomei I as Archie and Edith I, Bunker. Because I, I, I watched a good chunk of all, all in the family. It was all in the family was a good show. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I actually I did not watch Fat Facts of Life for Different Strokes. Um. I maybe I saw a couple of episodes of the Je- Jeffersons. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of these I I did not really watch, so that's why I want I want one that I did watch, which was you know, I watched a good chunk of um, you know, a Dick Dick Van Dyke, Dyke show or I Dream of Jeannie Bewitched, you know, one one of those. Yeah. I've watched I watched a good amount if you know like a real good amount of all of these that they did except good times I never got into good times mostly because I don't think it was just it didn't air like in my area I guess on 
reruns or whatever, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, did watch a lot of All in the Family, Jefferson, Facts of Life, Different Strokes, Happy Days. Happy Days would be a good one. Happy Days would be a good one. That'd be a great one to to see them do. Yeah. God, what episode? <laughs> it can't be Jump the, the shark. It, it, can't, I saw that, it can't be that one. It can't be that the, one. The one where he fights Mork from Mork. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I did, you know, yeah. Because this was, you know, back in the day when, you know, like you watched what your family watched and they would watch these at night. And I would sit there and watch with them. Yeah, so that's that's a thing to watch on Disney Plus live in front of a studio audience. There's at least there's only one episode right now of it, but it was an enjoyable thing. Just, you know, like. Like I said, just the shock value of seeing all those big celebrities like having fun creating, recreating an 80s sitcom. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. So, what's another thing you got? Uh, another thing I got. Um,. Well, I finished Arcane. Did you finish Ar- Arcane or did you watch? I did not finish it. No. Okay. I want more of Arcane. Arcane needs to be I which I know we're we're, we're getting, but damn, this was really freaking good. Uh, I, I I talk about it a lot, lot last time and just I just repeat just like the animation is it's really cool um i you don't have there, to be a fan of league of legends like no, you don't and i'm not i'm totally not and i'm not either yeah um although it may be like like well I, I really like the show i could probably download league of legends and like good luck with that i'm not <laughs> <laughs> that's not, not gonna happen league. no no i thought better i i i corrected myself I don't hate, and thought better i don't hate myself that much <laughs> yeah so i didn't but i i, I was kind of hoping to talk talk about our our, our arcane so yeah, i was gonna watch it but i f- decided to watch something else that i thought like we'd talk about more. I didn't think you'd bring it up again this week. That's why I was like, oh, well, I watch. I actually, actually, I held off on the watching the last episode because I, I get to a point where like, okay, there's one episode left, but I don't want it to end. So I never ended up watching like the last episode. Um, yeah. So I, I did. I watched like the last episode, I think like, last night. So Gotcha. Yeah. So it's it's still kind of fresh in my mind. I'm, I'm trying not to just watch everything in like one sitting if I can, like you know, you know one or two sittings, oh, I, like I normally do. That's what I try to do all, every time. Yeah, like I normally do that, but I'm trying to like savor certain shows and not, you know, but it doesn't work that way. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Definitely right, well, then, make sure to finish it all. Um, what did you watch? I did, rest- I did restart the first couple episodes because well, we decided to go to three. Like I, I would watch the first three like a year over a year ago. Right. Which we kind of determined was not the first three that came out. Like it would, yeah. it's, it's different now. Yep. So um, The Witcher season two. I've not watched it yet. I've I just okay. I've not I've, had the the moment to go because I want to watch it all. I've not had the, yeah, I've so, just not had like the moment to watch a whole series just yet. I've only watched the first two episodes. Um, I was teasing this earlier to you. Like this is a show like I can't just like watch 
halfway watch. You've got to like watch, watch. Oh, no, no. Yeah. 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 Especially because they continue with the, oh, when does this take place during this? Oh, like, oh, is it timeline? Like, does it, oh, does it do that um, again? Like, okay, great. It does. It does. Cool. Yeah. So by episode two, I was like, uh, episode one. Okay, cool. Episode two. Um, Wait, what? Cool. Huh? Cool. Did I watch, did I miss watch these in the wrong order? Let me look. Oh, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it switches to another character and you're like, oh, I don't even know when this takes place. Like it's, yeah. That's my biggest complaint with The Witcher is like, it's kind of confusing, like <laughs> to keep track of when stuff takes place, like. Because it doesn't say like it doesn't come on the no. screen and say like there's no like six weeks obvious ago, thing present day. Yeah, like. It's just a, you know, oh, OK, oh, OK, we're jumping back in time. In the second episode. Interesting. And then Yennefer's timeline, I don't even know. Like, <laughs> uh, okay. yeah, like, I don't want to spoil anything, but it's just like, yeah, I'm just confused. Like, so this is, yeah, that's why I'm only watching two episodes is because it's like, I, I can't just do something. I can't be on my phone while I watch this. I have to watch this, watch this. And even then I'm like kind of confused. Yeah, I, I. I thought about watching just the first the first episode, but I didn't. But it looks so good. The production quality is so good. And you know, Henry Cavill is like perfect for it. Like you could tell, like he respects the role. Like, sure. Yeah. He put he gives everything. You know. It's so yeah. It's it's one that I might not be able to binge through like I normally do with shows because like you know I'm gonna have to give all my focus to watching because you know it it continues the trend of like just jumping around in time and not telling you not having. Where you have to figure out like, oh, OK, this is not present day or what when, what is present day? I what? OK, yeah. OK. It's one of the, it's just oh, it's so confusing. Um, so what's another one you got? Uh, let's see. Another one I got. I watched a movie that just came out on HBO Max. Oh, okay. I watched I not the, watch this. Yet. The new Matrix. Um. Huh. I've heard mixed things. I feel mixed things. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely better than two and three. Not as good as the first one. Definitely not. I would be um, surprised. <laughs> I enjoyed the first half more than I did the second half. Ooh. Because like there's that whole thing of like why he's back in the mate in the matrix and like, you know, it's not really a spoiler because it's in the tra it's in the trailer. He's back in it's it's a new matrix. Um and he doesn't remember he kind of doesn't remember. And like why that is, it's very interesting. And honestly, if they would have taken that as actually reality, it would have been a. Uh, it pe people would have actually hated it. I would have loved it because it would have made a much better story. Because <laughs> while he does remember everything that happened. The matrix is it's their video games. They're video games that he made. 
So the storyline of one of Matrix One, Two, and Three, they're Matrix One, Two, and Three, the video games in that world that he made. Uh, okay. So like he does remember what happened, but not fully. Like he just he thinks it's all fiction. And honestly, if they would have continued down that path, it would have been bold, but I think would have made a much better story. Was it? Uh, I think DC Comics did something like that, where like, like the Justice Society of America at one point was just a comic that was in that main DC world. So yeah, that's an interesting like concept. Where it's yeah, like, I mean that's that's where that's where uh, Superboy Prime is from. Yeah, like, like like Superboy Prime, like he grew up reading the DC comics. Like he's kind of from our world, and yeah, and like he got sucked into the comics, and he's Superboy Prime. Um, that's also what happened with um, um, Gwenpool. She's she's the same. She's the same. Fan girl, yeah, yeah. Um, but like, yeah, like if, because like that for the first half of the movie, I think was would have was really good. It fell apart of the second half. Did you rewatch any of the others before this? No. I'm kind of shocked because normally that's your thing. Yeah. Like, but I will, I, I, I listened to a movie podcast uh, where they, where they, they okay. watch, they watch movies and they yeah. actually recently did that. Like, you know, they, they watched, they did all, all three Ma- Ma- matrix movies recently. So they're, so they are kind of fresh in my mind just through that. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Cause yeah, that's normally the, that's normally what you do is I you thought about it. <laughs> But I <laughs> yeah, I've I've thought about it too. But then I'm like, I don't want to watch two and three again. <laughs> yeah, like that was that was it. That like was it. one maybe. Like especially because they were showing one again in theaters, and I was like, that'd be kind of cool, maybe to go see one in theaters. And I was I was also very curious because there was the Matrix online. And if you remember what the Wachowski said, anything that happened in the Matrix Online was canon. And like all of like the like the main characters that were in game were actually other players, like just like people who worked. So like more yeah. like Morpheus was another player. And people ganged up and killed Morpheus. Like that was a major thing that happened in the in in the Matrix Online. Oh, okay. And supposedly that was canon. And I was like, okay, if that's canon and we don't actually have Morpheus in the new one, what do they say on what happened to Morpheus? Nah, fuck that. I knew, I, I, I knew they would bet they would back off. Nah, that'll confuse, that'll confuse people. Yeah. Well, yeah. He is not alive in the new one. That's not how how he went out. Oh yeah, that was the people were kind of upset. Lawrence Fishburne wasn't coming back. But yet there still is a Morpheus. Yeah, young Morpheus or whatever. Yeah, I've seen people. I've seen. Oh, I saw the trailer. Yeah, yeah. So. I and that is more Morpheus, um, but not at the same time. It's um, you got to watch it. Yeah, I, I, I'll watch it, you know, most likely, yeah. But, yeah, it's... Uh, and, and to be honest, if they make a fifth one, I don't think they will. I'd still kind of watch it. I'd still watch it. Because... Yeah. There's, there's some questions that kind of popped up. I was like, okay, Neo's the one. And how, how is this happening? Neo is the, the one. 
meaning there's one of them. Then how is this happening? Oh, but the, 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 you ever see the theory that like Neo isn't the one? It was Agent Smith was actually the one, and blah 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 blah. I so wish that he would. Hugo that, Weaving was back. That Hugo Weaving came back. Oh, he was so good. That's one of the best well, villain okay. villains in cinema. Oh, I gotta like, look, I gotta look him up. Gotta look him up. Just like Mister Anderson, it's just so creepy. Oh, it's so good. Uh, he couldn't. He he could. He couldn't come back to do Matrix because you know he doesn't like to return to stuff to old roles unless he's rapping about the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Weird. Okay, Jonathan Groff. A kind of okay. kind of a spoiler. He's Smith. Okay. Yeah, I so, figured there's another Agent Smith. Yeah. So Smith is still there, but it's just new new face. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he does a good job. Like I, he he does a good job as Smith. Like he, you know, I, I I I, I applaud him for that. He he did pretty good as 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 Agent Smith. Okay. Uh, and and there was there's also like there's so many callbacks to especially the first movie, like the cat. Um, <laughs> and this is not a spoiler either, but like he's uh Neo Neo is is in therapy, and his his, his therapist is Neil Pat Patrick Harris. Yeah, and he and Neil Patrick and his cat is named De, Deja Vu. So like like I said, video games like they put like so he put his therapist cat in the game as. Deja vu. So like there, there's some really interesting callbacks. Um, to straight up like they show a scene from the game. It's literally a scene from the last movie. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's they literally show so many clips of the previous movies. Yeah. It... It's, I also saw something recently that reminded me that, ori- uh, that originally they wanted Will Smith to be in this instead of. It would have been funny. Because, you know, his, it would have been weird because his wife is in it like, yeah, Will Smith instead of Keanu Reeves would have been weird. It would have been a totally different movie. I feel like. Oh, you, you mean Will, Will Smith as the lead? Yeah. Like he was supposed to be Neo. Would have been weird. It would have been a different performance that, you know. Yeah. Like, like I just it's odd. Yeah. And what they did to the Merovin Merovingian. Because it, it's it's not a what it's not really a secret that he he's in it because but like oh man. I his character was interesting. Like he, his character was like one of the more interesting ones from from the prequels or from the sequels. Sorry, not prequels. Um, but like, man, I've only seen each movie once. So, The Frenchman. Okay. Do you remember the ghosts? The the white the white haired um oh yeah the from yeah, the from the yeah. from the bridge scene yeah they they yeah. worked for for him okay yeah they creeped me out <laughs> they were kind of had a creepy vibe for me I try to forget two and three though like. 
they were in two, right? The bridge scene was two. That was two. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've 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 seen all three. Well, the the, fir- the first one I, I, I've seen a bunch, and the the sequels I've seen a number of times. Own the first one on Blu-ray, but I never bought the other two on Blu-ray for a reason. Um, mostly because the first, I think it was like five bucks for the first one on Blu-ray, so I was like, okay, sure, and then. The other two weren't five bucks, though. So okay, Ron, like, I'm not. Rotten Rotten Tomatoes has this at a 60, 67. Audience score is a sixty six. Okay, that's so, kind of where I I put it. Like it's not it's not bad. Mediocre. It's, not yeah anything special. Okay. Like I'm at the point where I'm gonna watch it probably just to see what the hell it is. Like, you know, like I expect some crazy stuff because it gets unusual. Yeah, and like that's as honestly that's where it falls apart for me is it it's the end. I don't like the end, and you'll know when it happens. Like, oh, this is just dumb. Gotcha. Uh, but what else have you been watching? I only have two more things, and they're the big things. Okay, I've got... Okay, then I'll do so, one more. Yeah. Um, so these, these are, this is also Marvel, but something that I just hadn't seen until this point, and we just haven't talked about it. It's turn Eternals. Turn, turn, because I... Oh, because okay. I did see it fi- finally. I saw it way later, uh, but I did see the Eternals. Uh, that was an okay movie. Yeah, like it wasn't amazing. It was just kind of okay. Uh, and who who he thought was Wong was not Wong. Oh no, no! But he looks so much <laughs> like looks Wong. Very oh much my like God. Wong. Yeah. Yeah. Like in, in fact, I even pulled up like both of them like side by side. Like, man, they look alike. Yeah. I'm like, am I racist? <laughs> <It's> like, like, <laughs> they're both big Asian guys. Um, nope. They just they look alike. Nope. Sorry. And uh, then I looked up like other people had the same, and I'm like, okay, good. It's not just me. Um, no, I know yeah. Stuart had that thought too, but yeah. you know. <laughs> I had that thought. I was like, am I, kept, I racist? I kept waiting. It's like, okay, so when <laughs> during the movie, I'm like, okay, so when is he going to go and go to Kamataj and start becoming a wizard? I kept waiting for that. Yeah, right? Even even like, during the movie. Like, oh no, he never does. Okay. Um, But yeah, like there's there's not a lot of, to talk about this movie though because um, it just kind of happens. We just, the I like happened. the I like I like the assistant. The assistant, Kumail Nanjiani's assistant. Oh yes, he was he was great. Yeah, he, he was, was the Trevor character. Yes, <laughs> he was great. Um, I did like the I can't forget his the not Wong guy. I did like his like little story arc with Angelina Jolie's. Yes, character. I like that was really I like done that. Well. Like, like like that whole story with with like, you know, with Angelina Jolie's character, like kind of losing her mind. I liked that. Like, I thought that was and it shows was like he cool. cared for her, not, but not in a romantic, not, in, you know, no. it doesn't have to be a romantic way. Right. He can just care for her just, you know, because, you know, she's a friend and, you know, f- kind of family and. Yeah, I really like that, that. That that they didn't try to make that a romantic thing. Yeah, and there are so, there are good aspects to this, like of, of of the Eternals that I really did like. You know, um, yeah, and I I had I, I, Icarus was a jerk. Yeah, who? Yeah, surprise, surprise. No, <laughs> I kind of I kind of knew in the trailer like he's gonna be the, yeah be a bad guy. I mean, yeah, um, like he's Superman, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just kind of like during that whole, like when like, um, 
Tiamat's hand was coming out of the ocean. I'm like, okay, where is everybody else? I kind of like, where, where, where's the other Avengers? Because e- e- even if, they, right? don't, even if like, they don't show up like at that time, but definitely like, after the fact. Like, come on. That's yeah, exactly. Like they, that. That's a. That's a. It's a. It's a celestial coming out of the earth. Like. Yeah, that, that's that's got to do something. Like that's 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 can't be just like this one area was affected. No, it can't be just that one area. The whole the whole world would have been affected in some way. Yeah, definitely. Um, like where was I where, was, hate... where was Doctor Strange? Come on, where was Doctor Strange? Yeah, it's true. Um, I kind of, I kind of, was it, um, hate the fact that we got the big Galactus scene without Galactus? <laughs> yeah. The scene that should have been saved for Galactus, that was but ended up being. a cool thing, though. Like, I. It was, yeah. Like, there are, like, there, there there's paintings online and stuff and i've always kind of really liked them they're just the just the massive thing in in, in the, the distance that just kind of is slightly obscured because they're so far away like i kind of really like those those that kind of look um so like i i, I thought that was really cool um the, the can't can't forget the end credit scenes. No, mm. they did pip the troll. <laughs> that was so weird. Like th- that whole that whole ending credit scene was like that's just like in Thanos's and, brother. Like, um, you look nothing like Thanos. Are you adopted? That's because with Thanos is a. He's Thanos is an eternal, but he's it has a deviant mutation, right? Yes, I, I think. Which, which that was also never brought up. Creatures, which, yeah. If that was the case, then the Eternals should have definitely stepped in. Maybe they didn't know. I don't know. Like, but yeah, that's. I think that's the way it is in the comics. It's Thanos is. A, deviant mutate which makes sense because i remember reading a comic of thanos like it showed like when he was born and they were all appalled and like horrified and whatever whatever yeah but yeah his brother eros aka star fox which i'm like you you look nothing like like star fox i know like come on yeah right (laughs) off your way to fight andros like what no wait wait Nope. Exactly. Uh, and then with Pip the Troll was voiced by Patton Oswald. Patton Oswald, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's something. Um and then the uh, the was it the the other scene? Do you <laughs> Yeah, know what that was about? I do now that I well, I, I looked it up because I'm like, I have no idea who the fuck he is. I looked it up, and even in my mind, I'm like, no, okay, he's he's the Black Knight, not um, and I want to oh, fuck, what's his name from DC Comics, the Demon who speaks in rhymes, um, Etrigan. Okay, you you you've definitely seen him because he's been he he's in he's in bat he's in bat Batman, uh the Batman yeah, animated probably. series. Um, if I show you a picture of him, DC Comics, uh, Demon That Rhymes. That was literally what I googled, and it came up. Good job, Google. Yes. Uh, this guy right here. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, for some, for some reason, like, he pops in my mind. 
I don't know why. I don't know why either. Um, but yeah, it was it it's the the it was interesting. Like that's that like end credit scene. Just because like I didn't think we'd see anything from Blade, or he, I guess hear anything. Oh, was that was that Blade off off, off screen? Yeah, that was played off screen. I did not, did not know that. Ali. It was yeah. just, I, I did not know who was talking. I didn't look it up. Because, yeah, and in the comics, Black Knight, Blade, and I think Captain Britain or whatever, they have like a team or something, which everyone, or the internet wants uh, Henry Cavill to be Captain Britain. Like, Okay. And I think he's even come out and said like he kind of wants to, you know, like he, he's going to show up at some point in the Marvel universe. Come, come on. He is going to show I mean, up. DC's not doing anything with him. So, yeah. No. Do something. Yeah. I mean, so many, so many other big stars are in the MCU. He's got to come in at some point. Yeah. It. The, the the I'll go going back. The ending was was kind of weird. I didn't expect it to end like that. The Eternals, you know, like oh happy everything luck, and then all of a sudden like the celestial comes and like kidnaps the, them or yoink. Yeah, the one yeah, the one that was the, the ones that stayed in anyway. Yeah, that was a little kind of sh- surprising. It's like okay, like, well now now I I want Eternals too to 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 finish that. Like you, you can't, you can't leave that hanging. Well, that ain't happening. <laughs> we ain't getting into Turtles too. That ain't happening. Uh, this movie didn't do nearly as well. No, and I didn't think it would. Yeah, I mean, it's such a obscure, like, like I mean, you know, it, it, it's such an obscure, like, comic book. Like the Eternals, and like, so was Guardians of the Galaxy, and we're getting a third one. True, but there, at least there's there's been good Guardians of the Galaxy stories. Like there's only been like one good Eternal story, and that was Neil Gaiman, <laughs> and that was pretty much what we saw. I think. Like you know, you and I would consider you and me to be you know, pretty in the know for the most part of comic of Marvel comics. And uh, we barely know I the mean, Eternals. <laughs> I mean, uh, there are definitely a lot of people who, who know a lot more because oh, I'm not saying experts, but we've I'm not, saying like, because you know, we've not, we've not read a whole lot. We, we've read some. Yeah. Yeah. The Eternals, I knew little about just because, they're not used a lot. Like, no, they're not. But yeah, it, it, you know, it, it, it was interesting. You know, to, so and I was I enjoyed watching it. I mean, I'm not gonna rush to watch it again, right away, or anything like that. But you know, it was, it was enjoyable. I would say. Better than better than DC's movies. Sure, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Still better than anything D- DC has done lately. Yeah. Although Flash, I'm, 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 I'm peaked. I'm peaked on Flash. Like, I, have you seen the newest things about Flash? No. Was it the dude who played Zod in? Man of Steel is coming back to play Zod in the Flash. Like, what is the what is this movie like? <laughs> like, hmm. p- this movie feels like it's Spider Man Three. Like, <laughs> you know, well, like they're just throwing so much at it, and I don't know if they're gonna be able to pull it off. Like, another Spider Man Three that just came out, right? That we'll that we'll talk about later. <laughs> But yeah, I saw that like 
that him and the one chick who is like his right hand are coming back. And I'm like, why? And it's supposed to have Supergirl in it. And it's supposed to have Michael Keaton, Batman, and maybe Ben Affleck, Batman. I've seen reports. Maybe he did something for, I don't know. And just like, what is this movie? Like, I don't know, but I, I, I want to see it though. I mean, I'll watch it just because it's, you know, it's there and it's, you know, it, it's always fun to watch a train wreck, right? Sure. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, the more I hear about this movie, the more I'm just like, oh wow, this is weird. Anyways. Um, but, uh, let's see, which, which one should we talk about next? Uh, Hawkeye. Okay, Hawkeye. Hawkeye, I finished just before we started re- recording. Oh, good. So it, it's fresh in my mind. Uh, I stick with kind of what I was saying about the first three episodes. Like, I liked it, but it was not making me come back again. Like, it's just like, oh, I've got to see the next episode. I never felt that the entire way. Like, I enjoyed it. It was good. But it just, it didn't leave me coming. It didn't give me the feeling of wanting to come back. Yeah. I loved it. I thought it was, I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I loved the interaction between Kate Bishop and Clint. I loved all the little Easter, all the little things they sprinkled, like well, Kate Bishop's interact, like oh, what was the actress's name? Like her interaction with anybody, I thought was fantastic. Like uh, she was, she she stole that. Haley she stole that show. Yeah, she she stole yeah. that that movie. Or that movie, that, that movie, that, that show. Oh, the the best the best scenes in the show is her and Florence Pugh as Yelena. Yeah, absolutely. Like that, like, which I love because this is the new Hawkeye and the new Black Widow. Like, yeah, we've got to get more. And I love, I, 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 I love her line. Stop making me like you so much. <laughs> oh, she was. She's also in Arcane. I didn't realize this. Oh yeah, and she's also Spider Gwen from Into the Spider Verse. Yeah, <laughs> she's amazing. I love her. <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, like I, I just, I, I love the feel of it because it, it, it wasn't. It, it was a street level, like, and we, 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 like. I know a lot of people have been like, uh, I, I, so we'll talk about Spider Man later, but a lot of people are like, why can't we see street level stuff in Marvel, like? And of course we got the Netflix stuff, but that's was like, was that, what is that part of MCU? Is it not? Who knows? Maybe. Yes. Bits and bits and won't. We don't know if all of it is or not though. We've seen two. We know daredevil for sure. Yeah. We know, we know the daredevil. Yeah. Um, and King because Pitt, cause, Vincent, yeah. Vincent Don- 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 D'Onofrio, you know, He's he's in the last the last episode. And yeah. Gosh, he's such a good kingpin. He really is. He's he's great. Yeah. And they made and him the, yeah. like almost super super like super powered like he is in the comics. Um in in this cuz like you took an arrow to the to the chest and was like beasting and was like well, tossing com- Kate Bishop around like he was a freaking doll. Yeah, in, in the comics, it's like he's not fat. It's just it's all no, muscle, it's, it's right? mu- muscle. Yeah, yeah. So, I yeah, mean, I loved it. It was still, I mean, gr- a strong man would still have a hard time doing what he was doing. That's like he's, true. Yeah. He's, he's he still has some ab ab abnat- naturally strong. You know, he's still ab naturally strong. Yeah, yeah, I. I, yeah definitely um but i loved like you'd see you'd watch uh, watching it and seeing like yeah they have 
they have stitches. Like it's not just a, it's not a, Oh, next episode we're healed magically. Like, right. you know, yeah. but no, you'd see throughout the show. They're like, have cuts that have like, you know, sure. But at the same time, he also fall, you know, Hawkeye still falls from a really high built. They say it was 12 stories. That was a little bit more than 12, 12 stories um, onto a tree. That would have hurt a lot more than it did. And then, and then that Rockefeller tree then fell over onto the ice rink. He would have fucking died. I mean, uh, maybe he's, maybe he knows a way to, I don't know. I just, (laughs) I just chalk it up to, he's trained. He's specially trained Mm. to be able to do stuff. He would have died. (laughs) Like he would have died. Cause he was high up in that tree when that tree fell. Yeah, but it didn't. It fell. It I. It didn't fall fast though, because it it fell kind of slow. It also fell farther than it than it was tall because it fell down onto Rockefeller Center. Yeah, like it 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 fell it it fell slower than it probably should have. It probably should have fell a lot faster, you know, but for reasons they made the tree fell slower than. But um, yeah, it's I don't know. I enjoyed it. I loved. The, we got you know the the i kind the, the echo thing kind of felt like unnecessary it in felt, ways uh, i i wonder what she's going to play later like what kind of role she's going to play later because it definitely felt she, like, like she's she was set up getting her own show but there you go yeah there's going to be an echo show um <laughs> well there you go um because it definitely felt like she was she was more set up for something else than this show yeah the was it the uh in the 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 the, the her, her her like right hand man or whatever he, that dude i didn't like too much no man the the, the tracksuit mafia was kind of <laughs> kind of kind of great i love that they were fun you know that i the fact that they called everybody bro and and that they were driving around trucks called trust a bro trust a bro it was so funny and that comes from the comics the matt fraction run it 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 does but it's 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 funny it's really funny great yeah um not enough lucky the pizza dog I, 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 didn't, I didn't want to see the dog in the midst of anything. Yeah, that's true. So, but um, swordsman turned out to be kind of cool. Yeah, he, I, I didn't like him. Like, cause, like he just seemed like such a douche. Um, but he so yeah. so, so through so many episodes. But then by the last episode, I was like, oh no, he's he's just actually, you know, he's genuine, and you realize like. He's not putting on airs. Like he's genuinely like that. And yeah. Like, okay. Like, no, no. Okay. You're, you're, you're cool. You're cool. Cause in, in Kate Bishop, Bishop even, even came around to like, that's how he is. Um, when she found out that, Oh, it was all her mom, not him. Which like that whole thing was like, come on. I saw that mile away. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I didn't really, who I, didn't didn't? Tr- I didn't trust her mom from episode one. Like exactly. Like, <laughs> I, I am glad she ended up telling Clint or Hawkeye about like her experience during New York. Yeah. And seeing him and all that, that would have, that would have, I would have been mad at the show if that scene hadn't happened. Like <laughs> I would have been kind of upset, but I, I really enjoyed this a lot. I love seeing, you know, Kate Bishop and that's the Hawkeye we're going to have from here on out. And we got to see a lot more of the new Black Widow we're going to get. Mm-hmm. And I, I think she was so much better in this than she was in the movie. I, yeah, because I mean, she, she was definitely more free. Like, you can definitely tell she, she was, she was, because, hey, she was. She was, she was more and more free. She wasn't, you know, under that whole Black, Black Widow uh, um, umbrella that she was in, in the Black Widow mo- movie. Yeah. And just, oh, I love that character so much. Like, just like, like, 
Like, like I said, the line of stop making me like you so much. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's, that, that's how I felt. You know, it's like, you, you don't want, you, she's kind of the, a bad guy or kind of a bad guy. Cause she wants to kill Clint. And it's like, I don't want to like a character that wants to kill Clint. Cause he's the, you know, he's the hero. Of, uh, and, but she's just so charismatic and funny yeah. and, Yes. Yeah, she was she was great. Um the the, the internet blow blew up because of the watch, by the way. I thought I I was like, oh seen that. Oh, she was part of Shield. Okay, and she was Agent 19. Okay. Mockingbird. Yeah. Which I, oh, but no! In Shield, Adrian Palicki is uh, mocking and blah 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 blah. Well, it's Mockingbird could just be a code name, like yeah. One. And it was also it's also never been we've never seen anything from Agents of Shield in an MCU anything. Yeah, we've seen vice versa. We've seen but... vice versa, <laughs> but not yeah, not nothing yet. Yeah, and we we've definitely seen a lot more of like Agents of Shield was is definitely part of a different universe than than the MCU. Because we because we definitely like... seen seen more that's contrary to what Agents of Shield is like like the Dark Hole, like this. So yeah, the Dark Hole that that I mean that thing that could that could be explained different ways though like it's there's so many differences in the comics to different appearances of that thing and all that but i don't know it's it i i feel like i don't know i feel like there's there's some rumors of some stuff where like they may bring in some agents of shields people in the mcu like the the reason the reason um what's her name um uh I can only think of her character name. Um, Sky. Quake Daisy Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason why she, the reason why she dropped from the Powerpuff Girls movie is because, you know, I've seen rumors that she might be doing something with Marvel. And that's and her possible. schedule can't her schedule can't permit them to have to completely redo that show cuz you know, what they did was apparently not good. <laughs> nope, didn't look good either. Um yeah. Uh but I I it's totally possible like stuff from Agents of Shield could come into the MCU. But like it's a different universe. It's not that because yeah. because the whole ter- Terrigen thing has never been brought up in anything in MCU and that definitely would have been been a major point in like an MCU anything. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It just it it de- it all depends on what the what they uh, what they're gonna do from here on out. Yeah, I like I don't know what their what what their plans are for stuff. Hopefully they bring in stuff because I loved her her character by the end of that show. Mm-hmm. By the end of Shield, I would love to see her come back as Quake. Also, because Quake is kind of a cool character as well. Also, Coulson. Coulson, but you know, they did a lot of weird stuff with Coulson in that show. True. But if they want to bring back a different a variant of Coulson, <laughs> sure. You know? Well, why we've not? got, you know, Doc, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, so. It, it it's kind of weird because yeah we do dare dare at least there is a daredevil and or there's the there's a there's a there's a, there's a kingpin you mm-hmm. know he's called they they called him kingpin it's vincent d'onofrio like you know we that's that you know that's guaranteed you yes. know and that that leads to a lot of speculation on other stuff but it's just speculation for now yeah um so yeah, I don't know. I enjoyed Hawkeye overall. I thought it was it was fun. It, it was, was good. I thought it was 
it was it was a good kind of self-contained story there wasn't anything like too crazy that happened in it to where it's like well this doesn't make sense why this person wouldn't come you know why the avengers wouldn't swoop in to you know yeah like now did i did i miss something like there was no like other than that in the last episode there was nothing there was no after credits at all uh no okay that was the last the 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 rogers the musical scene was the only one okay that's what i thought there was a lot of people saying oh there's gonna be kingpin's gonna be in an after credit scene and oh this is gonna be in an after credit scene but yeah well, i kind of expected you know julie louise dreyfus to show, show up yeah, yeah i kind of thought so as well um but she never did and it's like that whole th- plot line too like because you know yelena and clint their their beef is squashed now or you know whatever yeah. like so yeah because that where's because that was set up at the end of black at you know the after credits of black widow yeah where does that where does that land her yeah in the now like is she still going to be part of this team that's being built maybe like, i kind of expected maybe not now i kind of expected her and kingpin to like have like like a like like a like kingpin like gets in the car after you know after that that fight and julie then julie's least Dreyfus would be in the, in the car like we, oh yeah we, we gotcha. need to talk and that'd be it that was it that that was literally what i expected that to be and that didn't happen and a lot of people are mad because they think kingpin got killed by echo but oh, <laughs> i don't think he's dead because in the co- because like, we didn't see it we didn't see it and in the comics he gets shot by echo anyways and but he just becomes blind funny enough um so yeah because when, when unless we see something i don't you know and anything the director or anything kind of story unless we see it don't necessarily believe it yeah there was a spider-man reference kingpin's outfit was it came straight from the yeah his 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 his, his hawaiian his shirt hawaiian is, shirt is from a spider-man uh uh story where kingpin wears a hawaiian shirt like that Okay, that's cool. Oh, I I have read that comic too. Yeah. Yeah. It's so. Yeah, fam- family biz- business. I definitely I I, I read it. Yeah, I thought th- 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 I thought that was kind of cool. I, I I it seemed it seemed so out of place. Like what? Like I, when you saw it him was, in it, it was, yeah. like I just thought like he he was brought back from Hawaii. He was you know taking the ho- he was it's the holidays. He was in Hawaii. Yeah, but whether the uh, the big question is whether or not this is like the kingpin from the Netflix shows, or this is just. Vincent D'Onofrio as Kingpin in the MCU, you know, it's like, don't know. We don't, we don't know. And that, I like, think that's a question a lot of people are asking because they're like, Oh, they, cause that will explain whether or not this person will come back from the Netflix show or this person or that, you know, like there's so many people speculating right now. It's right. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking up the, that whole, the Hawaiian shirt thing. And the, yeah. the the comic <laughs> is from Family Bit Business. I remember this now. Yep. Because there was a target that was on some, somebody and it led and it kind of so there was some doctored evidence to believe that it was Peter Parker's sister. And that he didn't know he had. Yeah. 
I totally remember this 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 comic now. Yeah, last thing I'll mention the 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 credit scene. A lot of people are hating on, but I like it. It was fine. I. You know, they had to they had to do that anyway. They had to, you know, they wrote the song. They had to I mean, make a scene anyways to have in the background of when he was at the show. Yeah. So why not? Sh- I mean, they got they got quality people to do it, too. Like it was it was fine. They got, it was they it got was the totally dude fine. from Rand. They got the person from like, who, who like created like Hairspray and a couple other like Broadway. Plus. So like it was my quality my question is that it's i just i find it so weird that they made a broadway musical based off of those events like it was a terrible thing that happened in new york it just reminds me like there's not a musical of stuff that happened in new york 20 years ago that just that's just weird yeah it's just so True, weird that, but, <laughs> that there's like a musical about that. But I mean, if we had super, if we had superheroes in real life that helped save, uh, you know, and bring New York together, you know, and all the, maybe, I don't know, but I still don't think that would yeah. be a freaking musical. I think it was more of like, oh, kind of poking fun at Spider-Man, the musical. I mean, yes, you know? it was. I mean, that that's, that's exactly what that was. Yeah, and I love I love how Ant Man's in it because like technically it, he was there. It did, someone could have saw him un- until like, until you because when I first watched yeah. him, I'm like, well, Ant Man wasn't there, and then you said something like, oh, he could have been there. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, he was there. Someone could have saw him. Yeah, which I love. Yeah. I love that so much. Which like, again, that just like okay. So then Marvel, explain your time travel again. Their, explain your time, travel time again. travels. They don't even know. Like, we've gone over this, Stuart. Like, the directors don't agree with the writers, you know, on how it works. Like, there's been multiple, like, people coming out talking about it, and they've all contradicted each other, and it's just... It just try not to think about it too hard. Like, that's like, where, Okay. And it's like, what... Well, okay, how did Captain America come back? Did he actually... But decide to teleport back or did he also how did he also I was like yeah. was, was this another Steve Rogers that was living in that time that and he just let everything that happened happen like well, I don't fucking believe that yeah I, I have you seen the meme where it's like the night night or was it night 91 or whatever or whenever like the starks got killed and someone's telling captain america and then he's like oh pass the salad like that's a meme like going around basically like you know he's just he knows about things and he's just letting them happen or yeah it doesn't surprise him slash he can't stop it because it'll change everything but yeah, I don't know. It's it's crazy, but yeah. See, like a lot of people are 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 are, are the the in credit scene. A lot of people are like saying it's like the worst, but like we've had some kind of not so great in credit ones, like it's the Captain the America one, like where he's you know. At the end of uh, one of the Spider-Mans, right? The PSA one where he's like I mean, perseverance. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's the same thing about that. Yeah, like. I don't know. And the, the end credits are supposed to be something extra, like. Right. Something extra to have fun with. And I, I also saw someone say that Hawkeye was all, all about looking back. All the MC, all the end credits normally are about looking forward to the MCU, but Hawkeye, his the whole storyline for Hawkeye was kind of looking back at 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 everything, emotional trauma, trying to get over this and that, and to to have something where the end credit, like it, I, this, is just someone who may who probably put this together to try to make people feel better about the end credit scene being a. But I kind of like that. I kind of like that 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 sure. theory. 
Sure. But. And a lot of people thought Spider-Man was going to be swinging by making a cameo in Hawkeye. I don't know if you saw that or not. I, I, I think you, you said something like, no, he won't. No, he won't. He won't. Yeah. But people were thinking, you know, but surprise he didn't. Um, speaking of Spider-Man though, let's jump into it. Yeah. So how, how we, how we do we doing this? We're going full spoilers. I imagine, right? Okay. We're at, so, we're at the end of the episode. Like, so full spoilers from here on out about Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, I want to talk about my movie theater experience because I had, I was in a loud theater. Not so much annoying as in like people were just constantly talking or like people on the phone. No, no. Like I had people, like people were freaking yelling at the screen. Um, and like when certain characters showed up, there were huge, cheers. I, I mean, like characters we knew, like when Doc oh, Ock yeah, showed up, yeah. huge cheers. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's a trailer. We saw them in the trailer. Stop it. Like, I understand when, when, when Andrew Garfield showed up. Oh my God. That was sure. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah. But there like, were huge yeah. cheers on <laughs> that one. Um, but. There was there was a little girl who was sitting next to me. She ah, she's probably about 10, 11. During Aunt May's scene. She was an absolute mess. Just sobbing uncontrollably. I like just Aww. <laughs> Aww, that's, and like that's you could just sad. hear like this huge just snot bubble just go just like she was just an absolute wreck. And like she kind of left and kind of came back. And after a while, you, you every now and then you hear a <laughs> it's like I, have. I felt so bad. Like it's like, oh, and it's just oh. <laughs> I had something in my viewing during that scene as well. Um, oh, and at the same same time, one of the guys yelling at the theater just yelled, you know, every is dead quiet except for a couple like sniffles. Just man, fuck this movie. Okay, <laughs> like I just kind of outside to laugh at. <laughs> I had the comic book stereo or the stereotypical comic book fan who always oh that's not what happened or that's not how it should you know oh. in the i had that guy not not too near me but near me enough where i could hear him um he's like you're not uncle ben when she said it's know, the fucking mcu the not the comics right like the difference he said other stuff but the the uncle ben you're not uncle ben that's the one that that i can remember like I'm just, I, I just remember hearing that and just be like, oh, God, shut up, dude. Like, who cares? Like, sure, I would have liked to have Uncle Ben, you know, but like, at least we got the line. We finally, we finally got the And it was the actual line. Comic accurate. It was the comic yes. accurate line. When that happened, I was cheering like. I hit my tooth. No one, like. I, I I feel I I feel like I was the only one who realized it was the actual comic book accurate line. Yeah, but yeah, I was like, that's cool. But that's it, yeah, it, it was, and it made sense. Her develop her the the her throughout the movie. She got her. She got way more development, and we got way more attachments to her than we did in any in any Uncle Ben we've ever had. Yeah. Um, and she actually said the line right, unlike, you know, unlike everybody else. Unlike Martin Sheen, you know. <laughs> if you see something bad and you you can do something about it, I, th I think you should do so. Or whatever the fuck roundabout way he said it, like, <laughs> oh. Yeah, I remember that that pissed you off. 
I remember that. Like, it, like would just <laughs> say the whole damn people. line. Like, why are you trying to like I don't know like fancy it up or, or you know like just say the line. I mean, but you know. Yeah, the, the 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 this movie though, like they delivered this Sam Sam Raimi. This is the proper way you have multiple villains in a in a movie. Um, although I, there are some glaring plot holes. Oh, there's a lot of like plot holes, like, like the fact like, that why is Electro there? He didn't know that P- Peter Barker was Spider Spider Man. Why was Venom there? He Why didn't was know. Venom there? Yeah. The Venom thing, though, like I, people are trying to speculate, like, oh, Venom. He talked like, about being a multiversal hive mind. Hive mind and, and the hive so, mind knew that that Peter Parker was Spider Man, and that led him. That, yeah. Like, uh no. It's like okay, sure, whatever. I don't care. Like, like you are stretching for why he was there. Yeah, you know. And also um, the fact that he showed up way before that spell did. Cause like Exactly. Because yeah. like everybody else showed up when Doctor after Doctor Strange cast the spell. He showed up before he cast the spell. Because True. he because yeah. he, he showed up when J. John Jameson was, you know, revealing Spider Man's identity. Exactly, yeah. I feel like that was a Sony thing, though, like. Because that happened in Venom. So I feel like Sony kind of dropped the ball as yeah. far as, you know, like, because Marvel's the one who are actually they actually are in charge of the Spider-Man movies, even though, it's, you know, they're the ones producing it. Sony gets, you know, the royalties and all that stuff, but m- most of it all, the, you know, they reap almost all the benefits, but Marvel's actually the one in charge of the Spider-Man movies and producing and doing all that. So I kind of feel like it was like, like, like Sony, like, yeah, we'll have our venom in, in the MCU. And then, and then Kevin Feige is like, the fuck you will. Bye. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, this is, and I've, I've also heard this a lot. Like this, this was, basically Spider-Man's departure from the MCU proper and into Sony Spider-Man films. And they're just going to be Sony, that. Sony Spider-Man I don't films think that's instead the case. of MCU. I don't know. I don't think that's true. No. Don't know. And there's so many people speculating like, oh, oh, I I can't wait till he goes to college and, you know, his lab partner's Gwen Stacy and his roommate is Norm or, you know, or not Norman, but uh, Harry Osborne and blah, who blah, doesn't exist. No. According to, Nor- yeah. to Norman, doesn't exist. Well, uh, yeah, Oscorp doesn't exist. Well, the, the theory I thought was kind of okay. cool is what if no. they, what if they, what if it turns on its, what if they flip the script and it's actually Norman who becomes his friend? I take a that, young Norman. I take that back. Because Oscorp. I take that back. Norman didn't say Harry doesn't exist. He just said, and my son. And never said, never, never completed that, that thought. Yeah. So maybe there still are Osborns. Maybe Harry Osborn does exist. Don't know. Well, Os- Oscorp doesn't exist. Oscorp so. doesn't exist. I like the theory. Like I was so saying, maybe, like, maybe, maybe they were young... at Roxxon. Because Roxxon we know exists. We've we've yeah. we've, we've or, seen Roxxon so many times. Or there is no Harry, and it's a young Norman. Maybe. And we see him upstart his you know company and career with Peter Parker as his business partner, and instead of and instead of Oscorp, it becomes Horizon Labs. That's a stretch. <laughs> Is there a Horizon Labs in the MCU? That's Peter Parker's. That, that's 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 what Peter Parker made. That's. You know. I thought that's the company he worked for. No, nah, he, like, that's when what he did it, the think tank and he he ran it. 
oh, okay. What's the company he worked for? And he made like, you know, whenever he made Spider-Man gear, he like. That was, that was, that turning... was, that was Horizon Labs. Okay. Cause that was before like he had his own company, like the Parker Industries that he got from Superior Spider-Man. Uh, let's see. I'm looking this up. Oh, I'm sorry. Is head by Max Modal, not not Peter. Yeah, because because it was Parker Industries. Parker Industries. That was, that's it. Yeah, that was a, that was after because that Doc Ock created Parker Industries, and then yes. when Peter came back. Yes. Yeah. Horizon Lab was just the like think tank he was on. That whenever he made Spider Man gear, he'd be like, oh. Here, we could use this for this reason in real life, you know, like he'd use his Spider-Man gear and he'd turn it in and be like, I've been working on this the whole time. Yes, which and then Horizon Labs then is becomes Alchemax. Which is the main kind of villain entity in Spider-Man 2099. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. But, ah, who knows? Like, um, we got a lot more of the, of Toby and Andrew than I thought we were. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to get a whole lot of them, but nope. Holy. Or at least I was preparing myself for them to only be in the very like in the battle scene like i was i was i was holding my expectations you know like we're probably only going to get them at the at the very end in the battle and that's it and it's like oh no you know no i know um, it, it, it was just it was so great to uh um to see like just the the different the di- the different way that they did spider-man Cause like they just kind of held, they kind of held with it with like, you know, the, the Tobey Maguire one being so just polite and all, and you know, and, um, not funny. Uh, <laughs> dressed like a youth pastor. Dressed cool like a youth, youth pastor. pastor. Yeah. <laughs> I love that line. Uh. Which there's a, there's a TikToker that I've, I followed for a long, long time called youth pastor Ryan. He used to work at Disney. And he was Spider Man at, at Disney. That's so crazy. he's he, That's so funny. he. Uh, I saw on TikTok. It was like yesterday. Like he's like, did Spider Man mention me? I don't know, but I mean, come on. I'm a youth pastor, and I was Spider Man. He yeah. he didn't actually believe that, but it was just like that's a that's a funny co- co- coincidence. I gotta say, this really cemented my love for Andrew Garfield Spider Man. Me too. Like not necessarily the movies themselves, but him as Spider-Man. Yeah. Like he's so good. He stole the, every time he was all, he was on the screen. I felt like he was outshining everyone. Like. Yeah, he he was, he was great. Just the, like, um, (laughs) their, their their reactions to Toby's organic web. I thought that's, that's so beautiful. And it was brought like multiple times. Even. And we kind of got the Spider-Man pointing, like. Yeah. Did you notice that? Yes, I did. When Ned was like, Peter, and they were all like, Peter Parker. <laughs> oh, like, it's not quite the meme, but it's close enough. Like, I love it. Um, and then like the, the, when Toby is talking about like his best friend turning evil, trying to kill him <laughs> to Ned. Which uh, Ned, Ned does do something in the comics. He gets, he gets framed for being the, the hobgoblin, but he never That's is it. the hobgoblin. That's People, it. a get... lot of, a lot of casual, like Marvel fans mistake that uh, along with, uh uh was it um like this being 
like the whole Doctor Strange being one more day. No, it's actually it's actually one moment in time is the Doctor Strange storyline where he makes people forget Peter Parker is. But a lot of people confuse that for one more day, the which is the Mephisto which, which brings I mean, brings back. Peter, Peter does go to Doctor Strange to do it, but he doesn't. Yeah. But the one more day is saving uh, Aunt May, saving her life. Yes. Trading his marriage for Aunt May's life. Yes. But a lot of casual fans are just like, oh, that's it's one more day. It's one more. It's like, well, no, not necessarily. But. Um, I some of my favorite scene and I've seen I've seen this movie like multiple times because it's all on TikTok. <laughs> I don't know how, but I've seen this movie multiple times because the whenever I'm looking through TikTok, it's like, oh, here's three minute clip. Oh, here's here's another clip. Oh, here's like I it's it's all there. That's why it's so fresh in my mind. I believe it. <laughs> because I, believe I saw it. this opening night, like last Thursday, and but I've seen it so many other times, like. Well, I, I love the I little actually, things. Like I actually saw it in, in theaters twice. I I, I yeah. saw it on Sunday and then I saw it again on Tuesday. I'm gonna see it another time. Yeah, I just need to find a time to actually do that. But yeah, like I said, I've seen all the clips so many different times because of TikTok, and I don't know how they haven't been taken down. And I and the f- first time I saw it, it was in a Dolby At- Atmos theater as well. Like it was fucking loud. Nice. Yeah. And the sound cut out. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. I I loved all the little things. Like, oh, my back. You know. Cause <laughs> he almost because one, Cause, that, that that he almost didn't be, return as Spider-Man because be, of because, back problems. Because of a back problem. And also in in uh, was it two where he actually fell two. into a dumpster and he's like my back my back because his powers like yeah which which, which i've seen which the was TikToks brought up of, which was brought up of yeah. like the, the web blockage except it's, it's, it's a central crisis and the clip is he's like oh i have to focus on what i want and then he falls on a ford focus I just saw a TikToker point that that out. I'm like, that's <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, and then the the like cracking the back. I, I, that was so so cool. I don't know why I like that as much as I did. Well, but like that, it was really cool. But my my sister was, was like, a real moment. Like, yeah, it was. But my sister was like, "You used to crack our backs just like that." Yeah, that's that's the thing. It was a real moment. It showed them like. You know, yeah, they're superheroes, but they're real people. Like yeah. that's what Spider Man is. At the end of the day, he's he's down to earth. Like real yeah. person deals with real problems. Like like his biggest enemy is not <laughs> a supervillain. No, it's like... <laughs> it's, it's it's always been Peter. Peter's always yeah. been has been his worst enemy. Or poverty. <laughs> or poverty. <laughs> Which, I, as, oh, it would have been so great if that, um, if what's his name returned as his landlord. Oh, God, yeah. That would have been so that great. Would, um, that would have been interesting. Um, the villains were okay. I like the villains. Like, I like we got Doc Ock, like, redemption. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which I don't know that I I I saw a break breakdown. I was like, okay, they're sending them back, but what kind of state do they are they brought back into? Like, are like when when did they? Because like one one I thought was like, okay, like this movie actually creates like eight different time timelines in the on the other movie. Oh movies. yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because and like 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 one actually still follows the movie, because like because like uh, D- D- Doc Ock 
he says he, he had Peter in his claw, in his in his grasp. He was about to kill, kill him, and then he was he was there. And in the in, in Spider Man Two, just as that's at the end, just as yeah. you know, Doc has his his hand around Peter's throat. Doc Ock turns and becomes, and it's like you listen to me now to to his arms and kills him and ends up you know sacrificing himself. Um, so like so that probably still happened that way. I mean, maybe like, uh, like I don't know. Maybe he has the knowledge of it beforehand. Maybe he's able to. You know, because he does, he 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 was told like how it happened. So maybe he's had time to think of like, maybe I could do this differently or this different. You know, that's possible. But like, I the 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 Norman Osborn going back to, you know, a lot of people like, are saying that's where, gonna be like, right the glider's about goes, to hit him. Right when yeah. he says, "Oh, that was actually him coming back." Which I gotta say, power to Aunt May, like taking a hit like that. And being able and not dying instantly. Like, I was like, oh my god, like, oh shit, she's dead. That oh, no, she's yeah, she's she standing. Okay, maybe she doesn't die. Oh wait, she's shaking real bad. Um, like she got hit hard. Like, like I, Marissa Tomei. Like, oh my god, that was amazing. Like her acting in that scene was amazing. Yeah, it was like, great. It was like yeah. the the shaking that she was doing. And like the way she was delivering lines, like it was so believable. Like she was, like she had, you know, she was in Tr- she was in Trot Rama, and just yeah, and she it, didn't re- just not realizing it. And her giving the line meant a lot because throughout the movie, she was telling Peter, like, you can't just let these people. You've got to help these people. Mm-hmm. Like you can't just take the easy way out and just let them just let them go back to, you know, you've got to help them out. Oh, and uh, uh, Willem Dafoe stealing the donuts. That was funny. I loved it. That was funny. I loved it. It was so dumb. It was so dumb, but it was great. Like, and he did like most of his stunts. Like that was a thing that, that was his, uh, one of the things he said, like, if I come back, I want to do my stunts. Like, that was which is impressive because he's like was, 66, I think. Yeah, and that, he did a lot of stuff then. And I love we got the 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 ma- I love the way they handled the mask being destroyed. Like, you know, like. It was talking to him, like the referencing like, like, like it was Spider-Man. Yeah. And then he destroyed it. And then you're like, oh, OK, that explains there's no mask. Like th- there's a lot of little things here. Yeah. Like, in, in, in fact, he looked I, very like hob. Bob got goblin in the in this one. I really liked it. And Sandman being a being friendly at the beginning, like I love that. That was great. Yeah. Like, and then Sandman just kind of being dumb. He's being this, dumb. Yes. That, yeah. That's, like that's, that's Sandman it. being yeah. dumb. Yeah. It's like it's like no, I'm not going to help you cure these people so we can all go back because I want to go back to see my daughter. See my do- wait, like, wait, what? <laughs> Think that through. Yeah, it's like you could be cured and, and then see your daughter. Like, Think that one through. Uh, yeah, it was great. The, the, even the cheesy stuff, like, you're amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> like, I still like, like this. Yes, because he's the amazing like, Spider-Man. Yay. It's so great. Um, do you, do you see the the reports that he, uh, Andrew Garfield may come back to multiple projects? Uh, yes, I want I want Amazing Spider-Man three. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I want I want one Amazing Spider-Man three. Um, but they at, tease so at the much. Same time, like, nobody is ever going to trust Andrew Garfield again. Because he went on so many like talk shows. Oh, yeah. And yeah. did so many interviews. Like, I am not in No Way Home. I am not in he that movie. He was a trooper. Yeah. He stuck to his grounds. Yeah. I, nobody's going nobody's gonna to trust him again. <laughs> yeah. But, like, yeah, I just, I, I love that. And they tease saw, more for him. Like, 
because he was talking about Gwen being, you know, losing Gwen. And that, you know, they were like, yeah. And they, they teased like there could be, you know, his MJ well, or there could be, you know, like someone else, maybe Felicia well, Hardy. Right. Um, and that whole scene with like, like him saying like that, that was that was his, his moment. And then that whole scene with MJ falling, it was shot in a very, in a very similar way that, 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 that Gwen Stacy shot was and him catching her and him just having that, that, that moment. I actually did tear up at that. And he didn't just like, you know, you could see he, the way he jumped at her, he didn't like try to web because he learned from his mistakes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was it was a it moment. Was great. It was a yeah. moment, and that actually made me tear up. It it literally. And did. I we knew that was gonna be how it 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 happened too, yes. but it was still yes. so and, impactful. And, and, as like, soon as I, I want to say that was even in the tra- in the trailer. In the trailer her, when her she falling. fell in the trailer, I'm like, yeah, Andrew Garfield's gonna, gonna catch her. We know this exactly. Yeah, like I I thought that's when he was gonna like show up like. Yes. For the first time in the movie. I was expecting that to be like his entrance, but luckily we got more, you know, we got him crawling on the, the, the ceiling, getting that spider web. Yeah. That was good. Having bread that thrown was, at that him. That was a good moment. <laughs> well, that's, it's so funny because, and I forgot about this because in far from home, Aunt May throws a banana at Peter and he, he doesn't catch it. It is less than, so like it's a very yeah. similar similar thing. I totally forgot that was a thing until TikTok. And the 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 way they use the spider sense was so great. Like that was really cool. I especially liked it when they did the astral uh projection. Oh, and you can literally yes. see it like it does in the comics. I'm like, that is so cool. Exactly. Like his spider sense is still going on, even though he's you know, his astral form is out of his body. Like, yeah, it's so great. It was I loved really it. cool. Yeah. I really liked it. And it's like, oh, this is just geometry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I, I loved it. Um, it's this movie, this movie could have been a disaster. It like, really could have, but it was absolutely phenomenal. It was absolutely phenomenal. I I agree. I I absolutely enjoyed this, and I I man, I can't wait. I I also love I you know it it it's it's I know a lot of people are like oh t- t- Ned and MJ blah blah blah, but like I'm kind of glad that happened because we get tragic Peter, we get you know him mm-hmm. having to struggle, we get you know because it, it's also uh you know like. Yeah, you, you it's your your high school romance and your high school best friend doesn't always like most of the time you move away after graduating high school and mm-hmm. you don't stay friends and you don't you know have your high school sweetheart and that's just life. It's hard, it's tough. No. Yeah. But that's part of growing up and I love that me- that kind of messaging in, in in that. And there's always, you know, it's like there's always that you're going to have because when you're in high school and you're like dating someone, you're and you're like you're in love, like you want to be with them forever. You're going to be with them for like you're just so stupid and ignorant, like, yeah. like you know, you're young and dumb, like. And it's like, you know, that's that's the that's just that's the way high schoolers are. And you forget he's in high school, like. Right. He's like 17 or 18 when this happens. Like, which <laughs> uh, when Electro gets gets powered down, and he oh, and he, yeah. he, he has that moment with uh, with the Amazing Spider Man Peter, like we're just a kid. Like, no, he's fucking not. He is not a kid. That is a that is a full grown man. Uh, in his forties. I mean, he's 38, but like, he still looks the same as he did when he played. Like he, he True. didn't age at I'm all. Like, I'm like, like that is, that is still not a kid. Like I got like, yeah, you look at, you look at Tom Holland. Yes. Kid. Um, but yeah. Um, also, you know, oh, well, there's got, there's gotta be a, a black Sp- Spider-Man out there. Sure is. 
Yep. It's the second time we've we've had a reference to Miles. Yeah. Or, or the the second movie that has referenced Miles. So I'm like, let's I, let's let's get some Miles in here. Let's get, let's get some more multiple verse Spider Man. Let's get let, let let's get a variant of Gwen Stacy played by Emma Stone. That's Spider Gwen. I don't know in, about that. In, in a future movie. I mean, like, it'd be cool, but yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. There's a lot, but boy, I've seen a, I've seen a lot of clips, like I said, from this movie, which like three minute long clips of for almost every major scene. I can't believe like it hasn't <laughs> been. I, I I can't believe there hasn't like I've seen as much as I have on TikTok, like. It's it's shocking. Um, and then I've seen so many fan castings like. For Gwen and Terry and Norman and, you know. So many did. It's just like, oh, come on. We don't even know if they're going to go that that route because. You know, Oscorp doesn't exist. All right. At that, at that time, you know. Gwyn's kind of, Gwyn's been done before, so maybe they'll go. Like I said, I like I'd like to see maybe them go Felicia Hardy. I think they definitely could because you know there's are there still talks of a Black Cat movie? I don't think so. I think that got squashed because it was going to be a Black Cat Silver Sable movie. <laughs> I'm still okay, still okay with that. But like, this was Sony back then, though. Like, mm. but yeah, I'd love to see. I'd love, love to see Black Cat or Fleisha Hardy, Black Cat. Of course, I'd love to see. I don't know. Maybe some other villains from Spider Man we haven't seen before. Before we get like Tim Spy. Before we get Tom Holland Venom. You know, I know a lot of people want Tom Holland Venom. Yeah, I do. I, I definitely do. Uh, which was probably was probably going to be the next movie, and they will dedicate an entire movie just to that. Uh, I, I want I don't know. I want Rhino done better than what we got in oh. Amazing Spider Man. Oh, did, uh, did, did want, you want, see the silhouettes? I, want, the sil- I, was, I was trying to pick yeah. out like, okay, who do we see? I kind of see that could be Craven right there. There's, Craven, there's yes. definitely a, a there's definitely a a scorpion right there. Uh, you're not really apparently hiding, hiding that one. Apparently, they've casted score or they've cast Craven. Have you seen this? I, I haven't. I haven't seen the, the the cast. They're doing a Craven movie. That I knew. And it's Aaron Taylor Johnson. You know, um, Quicksilver. Yeah, Quicksilver. Um, Slash kick ass. <laughs> yeah. How? Unless it's going to be in the Venom universe or Venom slash um, um, Morbius universe. Yeah. Which I have a theory about Morbius. I don't think we're going to get that Venom line that's in the trailer in the actual movie. Oh, no, the I am Venom. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think uh, we're going to get Michael Keaton Vulture either. I think those are just put in the just for the trailer, just like we got well, stuff I mean, in the I mean, Spider-Man trailer that there was, wasn't in the movie. There was also a, a, another like a line of like, oh, yeah, they this kind of this is different than that crazy thing that happened in in San, San, San Francisco which also referenced venom yeah but i don't know one did who how do they know who venom is one but i don't mm. think we're going to get the michael keaton thing because which i was like I think okay that's just if, a if misdirection Morbius takes place in the venom universe michael keaton then is somebody else cuz if you remember in this No Way Home trailer, we, the whole first 
speaking to Doctor Strange about the spell and the Wong interaction, that didn't happen the way it did in the movie. Wong was like, go ahead, but, you know, don't bother me about it. Well, yeah, Versus like kind of what happened in the trailer. No, no. In the trailer, he said, don't do that spell. And then he winked at him like Doctor Doctor. That didn't happen in the movie. Hmm. You don't remember that? I don't, Wong, I don't. Like, was going through the portal and he said, don't do that spell. And then I don't Dr. Strange winks at Peter. Yeah, that's in oh, the trailer. Yeah, okay, yeah. Now, Wong, Wong doesn't... Okay, yes, I do. I do remember that now. Yeah, but in the, in, the, in, in the actual movie, Wong is like, he's like reluctant. He's like, okay, fine, but don't get me involved in it. When, when he's like... When Strange pleads his case about like... You know, he's been through so much, all the, you know. Okay. Here's I mean, a... we've seen so many things in the trailers that have not happened in the movie. True. Like Hulk and Wakanda. <laughs> right. Um, oh, here's a, here's a fan, fan casting. And I, I'm with it. I'm totally with it. Jason Momoa. It's Craven. Yes. That might be too much. That'd for, be awesome. <laughs> That'd be for awesome. Spider-Man to handle. <laughs> Jason Momoa as Craven. That's it right there. Yeah. I saw a fan casting for Norman Osborn. Um, Johnny Depp. And Harry is that Timothy. Whatever guy. I can't. Was he in Dune or? Don't even know how to say the dude's, that Timothy's last name. Chalamet? Okay. I know, I know who, who you, you mean. Yeah. And I saw another casting for, or fan casting for Norman, uh, Matthew McConaughey, no, 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 no. Like, if if you want a SNL skit, sure, yeah. But <laughs> no, th- I don't think he'd be good as Norman. No, yeah, I I don't know it. It was interesting. This movie was great. It was it was it was everything I wanted from from this movie to be honest absolutely it was amazing uh the suit looks great that the the the, the final shot of the suit oh the, the one snow. the one the one that he, he made yeah it, that was good i liked it oh it looks so good Which it's is like the comic accurate spider right on the chest I didn't, I don't, I don't remember the, what the chest looked like. Um, but it, it, it kind of sucks that, you know, he doesn't have access to Stark tech anymore. It's, it, it's, it's cause it, it, it's cause the tech doesn't remember him. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't know who Peter Parker is cause the spell, <laughs> no one knows who Peter Parker is. Uh, but yeah, which okay. Here's what okay. When Doctor Strange cast the spell to make everybody forget, why did Peter? Why and he was talking to Ned and MJ and telling them, "I'll I will find you." My question is, why are you leaving? Why did why did he why could he not stay there? I don't know. Just for plot reasons it's like i'm gonna cast he's gonna cast a spell but peter's gonna be right there and explain everything right then and there yeah, why 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 do you why do you leave yeah. why did he leave i don't know that's it's still that be a bit shocking like to do i guess i don't know i mean is any more shock <laughs> Like then I'm, they wanted... I'm, I'm really curious on, okay, they don't remember Peter. But then how, what do Ned and MJ remember 
that, um, like, how are they? What do they remember? Like, they helped. They helped Spider Man. Why did they help Spider Man? What What did they do? I don't know. They They just people remember Spider Man, but not Peter Parker. That's just the way the spell works. It's magic, which is weird. To, it's magic. It doesn't need logic explanations because it's magic. <laughs> like that's literally what magic is. <laughs> uh, I thought I I for, uh, I need to mention this when he's beating on Norman, and he's picks up the glider, and then Toby stops him. <laughs> he just looked like Toby just looked like this is nothing. This is this is absolutely nothing. When he's holding up that glider, he's just not making like a I'm hold, I'm stopping you with all my strength kind of look. No. Just say, I'm just I'm just here just holding this. And then he gets stabbed. That's I was like, oh, are they gonna kill Toby Maguire? I kinda thought they would. I <laughs> thought they were going to. I that was a shocking was like, oh, leg. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. That was crazy. I was like, oh my god, are they? Oh my god. But no. Cause you know. I don't know. Speculation like crazy. People are like, oh, they're gonna come back in Doctor Strange. Oh, they're gonna come back in a Secret Wars movie. Oh, they're gonna come like Andrew might come back, but Toby, I think, is done. No, yeah. Um when when Peter asked them what was your craziest villain you ever fought? Oh, I yeah. I kind of wish it would have been a villain we had we hadn't seen. Like they would have like said maybe Craven or Scorpion or you know somebody we haven't seen. Yeah, but like, what are those crazier than Venom? As far as like Tobey Maguire's Spider Man, true, like, true. I mean, okay. In then in Amazing Spider-Man, though, it was set up the the Sinister Six was gonna was gonna happen. That was kind of set up at in in Spider-Man. So I kind of wish, like, okay, maybe Andrew could have said, you know, I fought six villains at the same time. They all teamed up against against me, kind of like this. The way I see that is. He talks about he went he had he he had a dark moment where he stopped holding his punches. Maybe he maybe he like oh he killed somebody. Maybe he killed some of the maybe he killed some of the sinister sticks before they could form. Like that was pretty cool. Like little you know like yeah. tease because a lot of people don't realize Spider Man he he's always holding his punches. Yes, I mean I mean look 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 like. Look. Look what the you know he you know he he stopped like Doc playing. Ock is just a man like <laughs> if he gets hit by Spider Man at you know his full strength he's dead his head is powder right like uh, like, like you know Spider Man he he stopped uh, he stopped moving train he stopped you know he he held an entire boat together uh, I mean Super like, Spider Man is fucking strong he's really strong he held Thanos down. Like his his hand, like yes, yeah. Which Thanos beat the living hell out of the Hulk. So, like, yeah, yeah Spider Man is strong. He is strong. A lot of people don't realize no. he's holds his punches because a lot of his villains are like not anything. Like he no, could and, easily and, defeat. And like, that's that's also but, why Doc Ock you know ended up like he did before uh superior spider-man just because doc ock had taken so many punches from so many superheroes he was dying and didn't didn't then doc ock he uh he realized spider-man was holding his punches when he took over right because didn't mm -hmm. he like yes didn't he like almost kill someone Mm, I think he did kill kill somebody. Did he actually he actually kill? Okay, it's possible. I I it's been a while. So I, I haven't I haven't read it for a long it's time. It's been a while, yeah. But yeah, so that's yeah. But man, this movie is so good. Like they did. It, it, there's a reason why this is going to be the first billion dollar movie 
post COVID. Like, yeah, it's already at over 800 million worldwide. Like, as much to um, uh, Ridley Scott's chagrin. Yeah, <laughs> you heard about that, right? Oh, what is there something new? Well, like, I Ridley, know he's one of those who hates superhero movies and Rid Ridley Scott released a, a movie. I forget what it was now. Like recently. Oh, and the was, last duel. Was, yeah. Millennials Oscar bait. and their cell phones. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, well, that movie looked terrible. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't. I, I know I saw the trailer, but I don't remember it. <laughs> it's the like, like the what's his name? Uh, uh, the the dude from the the dude dude from Star Wars the new one Adam Driver Adam Driver it's Adam Driver gets accused of raping oh, this girl no I did and it, I did it, through, I this woman and it's, I'm like man it's, it's so weird to see Matt Damon in a in a medieval movie that just doesn't that doesn't yeah. match and, and, yeah. and Ben Ben Affleck like that just mm, nope they don't they don't it match. Looked, it looked like a bad movie. Like it didn't look good. No. Yeah. But oh, it's millennials on their cell phones. That's the reason why and, it didn't do and well. And people not not going to the going to theaters. No. People just didn't want to see her movie. Exactly. Like. Just yeah. I I I do remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought she was talking about how like superhero movies are, the the scum of the earth like a lot of directors think no or a lot of those hoity toy I mean, directors you know he's probably one one of them but yeah. but no i was talking about about how how well his uh his last movie did and he blamed uh people just not wanting to go to theaters nope uh, okay credit scenes I was disappointed with the last one because it was just a fucking trailer. That's all it was. I, yeah, I told you they did trailer. something different. It like, was a trailer, and I was like, oh. It was a damn like, good trailer. It was though. a good like, trailer. I, I, you know, I, I'm looking forward to a uh, multiverse madness, but I'm like, it's not what we're used to. And I'm like, oh. I mean, we get to, 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 to what if? Yeah, I'm like, is, anything's is, possible now. Is that that? Is that Superior the same? Strange? Is that the same strange? Or is it a different one that has uh, that did it went on a similar track? It's not it's not strange at all. It's secretly Mephisto. Ha 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 ha. No. <laughs> Everyone wants Mephisto to show up. But I don't know Mephisto why. Mephisto can't. Like, Mephisto can't show Me up. Mephisto sucks. Like he's not good. Everyone, why do people like, like Everybody cuz cuz he's the devil. Yeah, like And that's on that's actually why he can't show up is because these Marvel movies are so big in China. And you can't have the devil. Exactly. Yeah. So that's so, why we'll never see him. Fisto. But there's like people saying there's going to be, there's actually technically three different doctor Stranges. There people are speculating from this trailer. Like, I wouldn't doubt it. I would, but, not. you know, if we, if, if we get, what if like, dark doctor strange that means who's to say we can't get captain carter live action okay i, I gotta watch i got i'm pulling up the trailer now because i want to say i might have saw she, she might have been in the fucking trailer i know um uh uh what's her name um, we get, uh, uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank on her name. The love interest, um, 
Doctor oh. Strange's love interest. Um, 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 um. Christine. Um. Yeah, yeah. I'm just drawing a blank on the actress's name. Um. But um, we get her, and she's might be wearing a night nurse outfit. Because in the comic, she's one of the night nurses. And then we get um, America Chavez. There's no mistaking America Chavez is in the trailer. Like, no. No, there's not. <laughs> Which is like, okay, that's kind of cool. I, I think swear Captain I Carter saw, was in there. I swear I saw somebody walking with the with the Captain America shield on their back. You might have seen American Chavez the A like on her back of her jacket. Or the star, the star like Because that's what I noticed. That's the. I, I can't find it when I'm skim. I'm skimming. So I'm just literally just watching the shirt trailer right now. Yeah. But yeah, it's the star on like the back of her jacket. That's what caught me at my attention. Like, oh, oh, OK, interesting. Okay, yep, that was it. Yeah, yes, yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, if your Captain Carter was in the trailer, I would have known about it because of freaking TikTok. <laughs> like, <laughs> if I didn't catch it, TikTok would have told me. Like, because that's... I've heard nothing but stuff on this and Spider-Man, yeah. But it's, yeah, it's... It's also I've heard a lot of people say that they feel like this is a move because Marvel doesn't have faith in Doctor Strange to stand on its own and that's why they put the trailer at the end because they knew all these people were going to see it. No. And get hyped. I just I I just think they they didn't I, have something Um, although I, I feel like they, they could have had something, something comical of like maybe Peter in his apartment and like something went wrong. Like, you know, he's. Something not, falls and breaks or, yeah. you know, like showing his apartment falling apart. Yeah. Yeah. But then people would have complained about that. Like, that's all we got. Well, you know, <laughs> like I. I feel See, like at we're at a point Ant where like, movie, we got an ant doing the drums. Come on. You you can't yeah. you can't I was like that's all I, we got. I, we got we got the we got an ant man doing the drums. Come on. I just feel like we're at a point where like I don't know if we're ever, if people are ever gonna be like totally satisfied with nope. the in credit scenes because nope. like you know why isn't it why isn't it leading up to Kang the Conqueror coming back like you know like the Thanos ones did you know the ones that were Thanos related and stuff like that those set a precedent I think like people are always going to just compare to like those and be like why isn't this setting up to some greater big thing you know do you think in Multiverse of Madness it'll like the the whole thing with with Loki will even be, be mentioned. Oh, I don't know. I don't think so because we have a season two of Loki. I mean, um, mentioned. I mean, not 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 addressed. Oh, but mentioned. Mentioned. Maybe there, maybe there will be a mention of the TVA. Hmm. We're mentioning variants, that type of stuff. I mean, well, yeah, variants may, but uh, they'll probably say the word term variants and that might be a 
reference to that because the variance has has only been like Loki was the only one to say actually say variance. We haven't had any other like yeah. So yeah, I don't know. It did. It'll be interesting. Um, there are some people who are also speculating that there will be more than one Scarlet Witch in the show in the movie. Like, I, I think it, it, we're getting to we're getting multiple Do- Doctor Strange, just multiple Scar- Scarlet Witches. Uh, I don't, I don't see why why not. Yeah. I don't know. I'm hyped because this definitely looks like it's going to be very dark and creepy. And it's Sam Raimi who's good at dark and creepy. Yeah. And. Yeah, I'm just like. I'm just curious. Oh, you know what? I'm going to call it now. We're going to see a much older Doctor Strange that's going to be Bruce Campbell. (laughs) Okay. That'd be cool. I'm calling it now. Because you know Bruce Campbell's going to be in... Uh, like he's in all the Raimi's movies, right? Just about. Just about. I, I'm calling it. That's going to be like. <laughs> uh. Senior strange or se- sorcerer supreme senior strange. Like. Because I, I was just thinking, like, what, what Bruce Campbell's going to be in it, but who is he going to be? And it just hit me like, oh, he could play an older Doctor Strange. Like, I could see that. I can definitely see see that. Yeah. As, as more of like a get off my lawn kind of older Doctor Strange. Yeah, exactly. What if Ash Williams was Doctor Strange? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm I'm excited for for Multiversal Madness. Like, is that trailer was, was something? Like, I I do agree. I kind of wish we would have gotten some other scene but mm-hmm. like considering like the trailer's out now like right so you know there's no like there's no well i mean i guess also there's no reason to stay till the end if you're going to see it again because you can just watch it at home so yeah. that's nice but yeah oh oh last thing uh strange isn't sorcerer supreme Wong is. Wong is, yes. Because he got blipped and someone had to be Sorcerer Strange for that five years. I kind of like that. Yeah. That was, I felt that was kind of clever and that kind of explained a lot, like why he was the one contacting uh, uh, Shang-Chi and and Katie. True. And why he's, you know, he's spearheading the, you know, talking with uh, Carol Danvers and Bruce Banner and all that, you know, it's because he's now Sorcerer Supreme. Absolutely. I also saw like it was, it was someone was like, like. Uh, that explain that that could explain why, like. They were saying uh, Catherine Hall, Agatha said, like, you're stronger than the Sorcerer Supreme because that's technically Wong and not, <laughs> you know, <laughs> not Doctor Strange. So that li- li- lends a little like mystery, like who would be stronger? Yeah, I still think Wanda Wanda would <laughs> like. Yes, her magic is just too chaotic. But yeah, the, the, 
there's so much. This movie packs so much. And yeah, it's it's going to hit a billion before the end of the weekend. I'm sure. Like I said, it's at it was at 800 million. So. Uh, any final thoughts, Stuart? Uh. No. I I'm I'm looking for I'm looking forward to more Spider Man. I I am as well. Whether it's Andrew or Tom. Yeah. Which the, you know they've proven. We're in a world where it's like okay yeah there's multiple Spider Man people aren't gonna the the audience isn't gonna get confused so you could do, you know, a Tom Holland movie and an Andrew Spider Man movie. We're yeah. in that world now. And I am all for it. Like, so give me twice the Spider-Man. <laughs> Actually, yeah. with the Into the Spider-Verse, give me three times the Spider-Man, you know? <laughs> uh, Sure. Because they're going to keep making those. Like... Yeah. And uh, I mean, the, the trailer for the next, next one looks great. Yeah, I uh, just I hope we I hope we get 90 Spider-Man in there. So do I. I would love that. Yeah, don't be don't be a coward. Give us 90 Spider-Man. <laughs> but OK, we we've been running a bit long, but, you know, it's us talking about Spider-Man. So, of course, we're going to go right. on and on and on and on. <laughs> um, So. This has been episode 440 of the Geeks for the Win podcast. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. Stuart's at Casual Chair. I'm at WillPlayGames underscore, and we will catch you next time. And remember, no animals will harm making this podcast.